Hey, it's Kate. Hey, it's Joanna. Do you like women who laugh like Roseanne? Do you like jumping in a pool full of lemon juice covered in paper cuts? Do you like loading a bowl at the end of a hard day? If you answered yes to one or more of these questions, you should listen to Butt Stuff on the Journey into Comics Network. The following is a Journey into Comics Network production. You have the dumbest smile on your face. That's just his normal face. <laughs> it's like really hard on the edge of, uh, on the very, very edge of the line of uh, cringy and epic, epic win. We're gonna fuck the sodomites in the... Oh my god. <laughs> and I guess that's how we're going to start the show today. Oh, uh, so welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Podcast for you, episode 24. And with my co host. Hey, folks. I, I'm going to apologize right now because here in about 45 seconds, I'm going to go on a rant. Do you want do you want to go on the ramp before we introduce our guest? Yes. Or? Okay. Yes. Okay. Cool. So I'm I'm on my way to pick my daughter up. Traffic is terrible. I, I believe I've started a rant like this on podcastrophe before. Podcastrophe before, but I'm gonna go ahead. I'm bebopping through West Lafayette. Traffic is terrible. Tangent, real quick. Go ahead. I love that you always use the phrase or the term bebopping. Bebop is kind of. One that I've coined myself. You are the only person that I know that says it. I appreciate that. And, uh, yeah. Go on. Go for it. So I'm bebopping down through West Lafayette. Cruising in the heritage machine, as Cameron calls it. <laughs> and, uh, traffic is terrible. I mean, just absolutely terrible. People are, like, veering into each other and then narrowly, narrowly avoiding collision. And it's just, it's chaos. Yeah, that was my phone. Um... And it's just, you know, I'm, I'm driving the speed limit, and I'm staying in my lane, and I know where I'm going, and people are, it's just chaos. And I'm getting, I, I get very, uh, it does not take very long for me to get road rage symptoms because of my <laughs> Irish fiery temper that I have. Hey, same. And uh, I, I pull up to a stoplight, and I'm just sitting there, and there's this guy next to me who has about hit me at least five times in maybe four football fields distance. And I look over and he has sunglasses on. Okay. A beanie, like one of those really saggy, stupid beanies. Yeah. And then his hood is pulled over his head, almost covering his eyes. And he's got like the super swagger lean. Like he's actually laying in the passenger seat. Yeah. And then I, 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 so I'm in, I'm in my truck, the heritage machine, and I'm looking down at him just with pure <laughs> and utter disgust. And he goes, he <laughs> looks up at me and I can see he's got, so he's got the, the sweatshirt hood pulled almost all the way over his eyes, but the sunglasses that he has on are pulled down like all the way to the <laughs> tip of his nose. Okay. So he looks up at me and we make eye contact and I see him and he's, he's really He's really coming up with something great. And he looks at me into my soul and does the head nod. And I see him mouth the words, sup. <laughs> and and I, I'm just looking at him. And I'm just like, my eye, I can tell that my eyes are really wide. And I'm like flaring my nostrils. And I just look up at the stoplight and it turns green. And I'm just sitting there. Because I'm contemplating like putting it in park revving it up to 9,000 RPMs, dropping it in gear, and swerving over into his car. <laughs> Rolling coal. Hopefully killing us both. Um, and he floors it and just takes off. Almost hits two or three cars, turning in and out of traffic. It, it was, again, chaos. And right right about that time, 
Tool came on the radio, and Tool is one of my favorite bands. But is it was that the, the Snapchat you sent me? Yes, I it, thought that was a perfect circle. No, that's Tool. It's Enema. Okay. okay. So Enema comes on, and that song is about California falling into the ocean, getting rid of all the idiotic people on the earth that should not be allowed to procreate, and mm-hmm. then creating the Arizona Bay instead of the California Bay Area. Yeah. Um, and it, it just made me really appreciate that song because that's one of those people that you want to fall that the Maynard ocean. is talking about falling into the ocean. <laughs> um, and immediately after that, so the rant's wrapping up here. Immediately after that, I see a uh, Chevy or Chevy HHR. Remember the stupid oh, like I hate those the stupid they're like PT the, the, Cruiser they're clone like diet PT Cruisers. Yes, but like I love slightly, that, by the way. slightly beefier, but at the same time less masculine. If that's how possible. is that possible? I don't know, but that's what I'm going with. So this fucking uh, exterminator, this HHR comes cruising up to me, and it's all graphic out. Okay, the whole thing is wrapped in graphics, uh-huh. and it's like this miasma of fucking rainbow colors. And I, I get behind it, and it's an Ardvark Company Exterminator Company vehicle. Okay, <laughs> on the back is this big goofy dumb looking Ardvark. So it's you know it made me laugh it 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 made the situation that I just experienced a little bit better, and that the entire back glass is covered with graphics, so you can't fucking see out of it. So then I went right back to rage. They can see through it. You're just just like, let no, me have no, this. No, no, no. So I'm I'm looking at this this stupid graphics on the glass, and I look, and there's a slogan, and it says, "If we can't kill it, we'll eat it." <laughs> and and I, I just I wanted to face palm and then again swerve into traffic but I had to go pick up my kid from daycare so I didn't I really wish I would have and the reason I brought this up is this week has has kind of been an odd week for you and I both yes I had a really bad day yesterday you had a really bad day today neither one of us have been getting sleep I uh, got plenty of sleep last night well We've both had days. Don't don't speak for me. We've both had days <laughs> this week where we haven't gotten as much sleep as we needed, and I realized that I'm at the point in my life now where it's my emotions, my mental health, and uh, just life in general is constant hills and valleys. Yes. And here this week, it's been almost all valley. <laughs> <laughs> we're not uh, we're not on the upside. We we we've had a we've had a couple of rough patches on Monster Hunter. And yeah, so I thought that's why I thought that's what got you bummed the other night and led to you being bummed yesterday. That's definitely a big part of it. We ended on a very low note last night and that put me kind I think that may have been a contributing factor to me being in a a very low mood today. Yeah, I feel you. I I remember. So you asked me if like, what did you ask me? You asked if I was like sad or like whatever. And then Matt, Matt. Like I had several people ask me, like, "Dude, what's wrong? You, you seem well, you, you don't you, seem okay today." You have this uh, way about you where normally you don't show your emotions on the outside. It's just you're kind of always angry and pissed off looking. Yes. And when you have the look <laughs> of being sad and defeated, something is incredibly yeah, wrong with you. That's exactly. It. You're like, "How do you feel?" I'm like defeated <laughs> and, and then I, I don't I'm, i don't even know why and then i said you actually look like one of my cries for help personified <laughs> and given physical form yes you yeah. looked that bad today they they some i think matt asked me like he's like what defeated what happened i'm like nothing happened like literally nothing happened it's just that's the best way i can describe the feeling well realistically we did get defeated <laughs> last night we couldn't yeah, kill an yeah, elder dragon so yeah um but anyway so yeah, um, rant over rant I feel over better now. and now now we can finally introduce our guest uh say hello to the microphone cameron hello this is cameron uh, my name is... is cameron i do not have high functioning autism <laughs> i have normal autism thank you very much <laughs> Um, and without skipping a beat, he, yeah, this is Cameron. This folks. is Cameron, guys. Uh, we've given him the nickname Wedges, uh, which we'll go to, we'll go into here a little bit in the episode. But uh, real quick, what do you, what do you got in your hands there, pal? A little present for you. Well, for why, one why, why yeah. You... So you you spent the entire part part of that first 
rant. The intro to the show, just like eating an apple and just but eating an apple like an autistic. Yeah, and like you you you're like trying not to eat it into the microphone, but I almost kind of wish you would for like the really big meaty bite. The ASMR aesthetic, <laughs> probably. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> oh God. I have another apple in my backpack. If you want to start <laughs> oh boy. Pulling. Maybe maybe later in the show. I don't want you okay. to get a tummy ache. <laughs> I was gonna I was gonna give you these apple seeds because uh, apple seeds, funny enough, have cyanide in them, and you could have some of that if you. Ever I don't know it. that that's enough to give me sweet release. I don't know. I've never eaten apple seeds. And if I eat, a, if I start eating apple seeds now, then my body will build up an immunity to cyanide. And <laughs> you then, need to do it all at you, once. You never, you never want to have an immunity to cyanide because at a moment's notice, you could, ha- you have, could have a use for cyanide. Well, much like the Nazis. How many of us wish we had a cyanide tooth? I do. I wish they were all cyanide teeth. But what if you accidentally bit down on it? Then I, then I went out with a bang and a froth and a gurgle. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate the sound effect. <laughs> hey, no problem. No that, problem. That raises the question: Is Joe immune to cyanide? Ooh. Looking at what, you, Joe. What you doing over there, Miranda? Making sound. You know you're not to do that here. You know what she is supposed to be making? My lovely. Hold Dinner. on. My lovely girlfriend Miranda <laughs> is also here. You know what she's supposed to be making? <laughs> What's she supposed to be making? Sandwiches. Nah, she doesn't make sandwiches for me. Okay, let's cut to the chase. What is... Chaste. Yeah, I know. I'm not... fucking lisp. What? That's not even a lisp. I just put a, I just put a <laughs> pra- past tense word. Whatever, just go. Okay. Stuff. What is your weirdest uh, masturbation story? <laughs> <laughs> go for it, Wedges. Let's hear this. Yeah, we just want to hear yours. <laughs> oh, yeah. mine? Um... I have a few weird ones. Just hit us, hit us with the one you got right out of the gate. The strongest one? The strongest one. Uh, I've tried to suck my dick before. <laughs> we've all been there. We've discussed this on Podcastrophe. Uh, Long it, before Tyler, but... We've it's all been definitely there. more like sucking a dick than getting your dick sucked. Okay. <laughs> That's all I have to say about it. I felt I felt That's hella all gay. I have to say about I that. felt hella gay. <laughs> I, felt, I felt pretty darn gay if I... I had to go to church and confess to my father, and he said, "Give me a blowjob." <laughs> <laughs> now the real the real question is: We're gonna dive into this story real quick. Did you did you do what the holy man asked of you? Did um, you pull out his sins to cleanse your own? Yeah, funny enough, uh, I was like, "Bring it on, father!" And <laughs> did you know you how fight him or did you blow him? <laughs> A mix of both. It was really <laughs> violent. Um, you know how, like, in the confession booth, they have like that screen. Yeah, I'm, I'm Catholic, so I'm very. Oh, I, I was raised Catholic, so I'm very, very familiar with the Do confession. Do you know the, their the, ways? The Pope is actually Obama oh, in a, disguise. A, a crab people. <laughs> no, but basically, the father he uh, he full on like like Spider Man crawled. Kind of like that movie Legion or whatever. Like when the old grandma. lady's crawling on the ceiling. <laughs> yeah, he did that in his own little booth, and then like so he didn't move around very much. No, it's kind of look. It kind of looked like he was having a bad seizure. <laughs> and then uh, what he did is he just rammed his dick through the screen. <laughs> so the only thing you could think about doing was just helping him out. All right. Okay. Uh-huh. Tyler, weirdest masturbation story. <laughs> Hopefully this doesn't lead into a Catholic. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> I don't really. Catholic moment. I don't really have any. I just pretty either. standard. Okay, so like, what's the weirdest way you've masturbated? <laughs> to reach around. I've done that. <laughs> probably, probably, probably. I've done that move right there. I know that move. Probably the left-handed stranger. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. You that's never a, did. That, the, that's pretty standard. You never did the banana. F- Banana split foot surprise? No. <laughs> Dear <laughs> God. That up. <laughs> Dear God, for the love of all that is holy, do not go any further. Okay, so <laughs> do you guys remember those like those like uh they're like 
little jelly things, and oh, you can put things through them. Oh, like, oh <laughs> you're, hell yeah. you're an entrepreneur. <laughs> oh, yeah. So you're, you, Fleshlight before the fleshlight. All right. Did you, did you lube it, or did you just go after I it? I just went in. So you broke, you, you actually, like, broke the skin a little bit inside? No. So all that poisonous chemical <laughs> I didn't break, seeped onto I didn't your, break the skin. your dilly. No, it. I was I was I was a young teen, so I, I was not a full grown. Well, no, man. but but you did go with go at it with some enthusiasm and fire. So I figured. I imagine, you know, and you might have been in the kitchen. Oh man, I think I fucked. So like my oh, I there fu- was, I can't uh, another thing pregnant. I fucked. <laughs> one of those, one, you know those uh those Nerf like. They're like tubes with you the, fucked the, a Nerf dart. <laughs> no, no, He's wow, stuck it that's down so his small. <laughs> no, okay, so it's this gun that has like it's like a tube and has like the little balls you shoot through it. I fucked one of those. Did you like pull the trigger <laughs> and have it like shoot your dick? No, <laughs> it's kind of like the old Ping. cartoon, like holding his finger. In the Miranda's shotgun. learning so much about me tonight. We have gone down a dark path that we've that I have not gone. We down haven't even started talking about yet. porn this episode. That's so. right. Okay, should I tell my second story? <laughs> you should wait a little bit late when, like, we're talking about something serious and then bust it out. Okay. Okay. Yeah, don't bust it out, but bust it out. Right. Wait while I whip this out. <sighs> the Podfather has blessed this. Appreciate it, Podfather. Uh, speaking of pod and fathers and stuff. I want to give a shout out to my good buddy Clint Chase for donating yeah. twenty dollars to the JIC Network. He's our big winner of the week. I'm mm. gonna start. I'm gonna start giving big winners and big losers of the week on Podcastrophe. Clint Chase, I will find you and I will stick my tongue down your throat. P- please don't. He's a married man, and I like him the way he is. Not touched by your malice. <laughs> I'm not gonna say what I was gonna say. That I I do realize that we're on a podcast now, and people could watch what I was gonna say. Yeah, <laughs> probably they're, gonna watch, they're watching now, and then a week later they're gonna listen again. I also want to thank everybody uh, on that stood by us and dealt with all of our terrible infancy Twitch streaming that we've been doing. Yeah, here lately. Um, I now have a camera. He's got a camera, so. Uh, Again, the cool thing is, will you be able to check out our streams and see stuff from two different perspectives? Um, but thanks for everybody that tuned into the stream yesterday through all of the difficulties that we had. Brando, he says, and there went the twenty dollars. <laughs> thanks, Cameron. Yeah, Cameron. Peasant. <laughs> we don't need your dirty poor people money. Plebeian. What if it, what if that twenty dollars was made by buying and selling Bitcoin? Is it still poor people money? Yeah. Because you can't fucking do anything with Bitcoin half the time. All right, fair enough. You can buy drugs on the dark net. Not once did you even buy drugs. (laughs) And you never paid for drugs. Not once. (laughs) Dewey Cox, Walk Hard, such a great movie. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just for that scene alone. Oh, yeah, that's my favorite scene. That's easily my favorite scene of the whole damn movie. What is that? You don't want none of this shit, Dewey. It's non-habit forming. It's the cheapest drug there is. It makes sex better. (laughs) I don't want to affect my sex drive. Oh, John C. Riley, Fucking genius. I love that guy. There's a kid named Josh Knapp. I'm calling you out, Josh Knapp. At my school, who looks like John C. Riley. I'll even show you a photo of him. We don't need to see the photo. <laughs> We're good. It, it's just going to be John C. Riley, so there's no <laughs> point. <laughs> I was I was going through my memories the other day, uh, and uh, and I remember this because it was it was only a year ago, and I I was like, so manscaping tonight. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I said, manscaping tonight. Decided to style. I decided to style my crotch in the. In the style of Larry Fine from the Three Stooges, and then I had a picture of him. <laughs> Why? Because I just went straight down the middle, like at first, and there was so there was just like this two clumps of hair, and I'm like just on both sides of my cock, and I'm just like, that's hilarious. <laughs> if, uh, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of the ball throw. Yep, yep. If you, uh, it was some funny stuff. If you grow out those pubes, you could get two really nice braids going down each side of your dick, like Jew braids. I want sure. Jew curls going down 
Miranda, would you be okay with that? Your normal hair or your dick? My dick. Both. No. And possibly butthole hair? Nah, no butthole hair. I got Both. I, I've, like, I've finally come to terms and I'm, like, secure with my butthole hair now. For a while, I was very, I was very insecure about my ass and how. Did you get your asshole bleached? No, but like I was, I was very insecure with how hairy my ass was for like the longest time. And now, now are we like, talking whatever. like just the outer ass, or are you talking just the inner ass? Inner. Okay. Like the crack and further. I <laughs> must go deeper. I <laughs> must go deeper. I have something Holy that I relate to this. Go on. I, uh, I have a lot of like butthole hair, like really close to the rim, the hole. Okay. And uh, when I eat the really, because I eat really spicy food twenty four seven, I'm pretty sure like some of the hairs are like corroded away, and it's really disgusting. Thank you for that rousing <laughs> retelling of your eating habits and your anus. When are we going to start talking about porn? In a little bit, okay. Travis we'll, we'll Wilson. There. That's your friend. That's right? my good friend, right Travis. On. What's welcome, up? Welcome, Travis, and welcome, Tucker. Uh, thank you for joining in on the live feed. Uh, thank you all of you for being part of the live feed. So I got a topic if we Go if we it. want it because I'm I'm the topic guy. Actually, before before we get into a topic, you son of a bitch, I have some of this awesome uh, cookies and cream nuggets from 450 North Brewing Company that I'm really wanting to uh, dig into. I, I want to get the get to this before it gets warm. So well, can, okay, my top my first topic is going to be really really short. Go Stop ahead, go ahead and start talking while I pour this shit. Um, so. Well, actually, I'll just wait on the topic, and we'll just talk about 450 North. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah, man. Oh, hell yeah, man. Hey, Jacob Wells. Uh, can't say that I'm happy to see that you're here, but we're going to talk about some movies here in a little bit, so if you want some movie talk, uh, go ahead and stick around or don't. I don't really care either way. But um, 450 North... Everything that I've had from 450 North, which is, of course, like two things, is super awesome. The Golden Nugs, and then, um... Is that enough for, well... That's, want, that's my... a good one or a little one? I want a little one. Alright, I'll, t- I'll take this one, then. But, um... I'm really excited for this... Oh, hell yeah. I'm really excited... <laughs> oh, hell yeah, man. I'm really excited for this, uh, tap take... T- or, tap... Blah, 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 tap takeover... At Jerry Lee's Pub in a couple weeks. And who's, who's putting that on? The Doom Room and Brews with Dudes. That's good. Thanks, man. Mm-hmm. It's a milk stout. I'm alright with that. Oh, hell yeah, man. I, I probably feel left not. out. I've been wanting to try it, though. It's Hold on. Let me read the... I am 21. You can't have this. Alright. Cookies and Cream Nuggets. Double chocolate milk stout brewed with Oreos. Cocoa powder, Madagascar vanilla, and lactose. Let's see here. One point stout, eight percent alcohol by val by volume for maximum freshness. Please enjoy this beer soon after purchase. The uh, Madagascar vanilla is a nice touch. People don't people take vanilla in general for granted. Uh, vanilla is very hard to cultivate and. Certain uh, regions of the world do produce higher qualities of vanilla. So the Madagascar vanilla is a really nice touch. You already taste it. Oh, well, let, me, let me get some aromatics here. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. So I don't, I don't get any of the vanilla from the smell. Uh, hold on. I, I can't really hardly smell from the glass, so try that. Try the actual can. Okay, I get the vanilla from the can. You really... You really have to appreciate 450 North with their their labeling. I love the labels. Like, they're very simple. Uh, the cool thing about the labels, too, you can literally peel them off and oh. stick them somewhere. Hell yeah, they're man. They're stickers. Oh, hell yeah, man. Uh, Mr. Brat, Brat, Brett Maxwell, um, uh, frequent guest on Brews with Dudes and great friend of ours, uh, He he's the one that sold me this cookies and cream nuggets. And he was like, you know what the best part about it is? I'm like... Uh, there's a better part other than the beer. He goes, yeah, you can just you can peel the label off and stick it somewhere. That's really cool. And I'm like, that's actually really fucking cool because I noticed I noticed Nick did it on his mini fridge and a couple other things. Mm-hmm. And then I started looking around Brett's room and he had them everywhere too. Cool. Well, let's dive into let's this. Dive shit into here. it. Cameron, enjoy us drinking this alcohol that you can't have. 
Why can't I have it? I'm 21. Let me pull out my driver's license. <laughs> First taste. You get the vanilla immediately. And there's there is a strong a very strong coffee sensation. Yes. Really good mouthfeel. Not overly bitter at the end, which um I don't know if it's just been my experience or if it's a common thing because obviously I'm not a big craft beer guy. Mm-hmm. Um, I either really enjoy milk stouts or really don't like them just because of how hard the bitterness comes in at the end with the aftertaste. Yeah. But this so far, really enjoyable. What's your thoughts Well, on first taste? It's a stout, so I'm not a huge fan. Uh... It's not bad though. It, like it, basically everything you just described is what I'm getting. It's what I'm getting. It's really easy going. Mm-hmm. It's um, very it's very mild. I wish I could taste more Oreo. See, uh, okay, a little bit of a rant That's here. Part of it, but you you, you dug or drug me down the rabbit hole. Do Oreos, it. and <laughs> I don't know if it's just me or other people feel the same way. But not long ago, Oreos moved, I think, all of their production to Mexico. And this isn't before anybody goes all heritage and says, You're attacking Mexico! This has nothing against Mexico. I think we should annex it and make it part of the U.S. So everyone's citizens and... Make it one big garden state. We can live there in the beautiful desert. But um, I think they taste different. I don't think they taste good anymore. Yeah, I still think they taste good. But, I do not think um, they taste good at all. I don't mind them. And you and I, you and I have talked about this a little bit with cereal, like how disappointing a lot of the cereal we liked yeah. when we were kids is now. I bought a box of Tricks the other day. Oh okay? yeah, Tricks is terrible. Now. You know, Tricks no longer is the shapes, and there's the whole paradox. Are are there just not shapes there now because we're adults? And they're for kids. They're, they're for fucking kids. So are for kids, kids. I mean, you would you want to go full Mr. Krabs, and it's like, whoa, were there shapes here just because I was a kid? But I would still rather eat tricks than I would Oreos. <laughs> you you bring up a really good point because lay it said, on us here, Wedge. You said Oreos are now in Mexico, mm-hmm. and I've I've noticed like they've tasted a little bit different. And one time I bit into one, and it had a scorpion in it. <laughs> oh, son of a bitch! Yeah, that's a prize. Oh, really? You're supposed to save that. You trade them in for... Uh, Sombreros. <laughs> and ponchos. Yes. And a green card. Oh, that was mean. I love Mexicans. I dated a Mexican girl for a year. That so, was that so, was one of the most heritage statements I've ever heard you so, say. So Cameron is definitely... He's down with the brown. <laughs> Ooh. All kinds of brown. Yes. I like. I, I I don't mind this. I I can't say like, I'm gonna. I'll let you smell it. Keep drinking it, but not if you. Kind of smells like ketchup or something. All right, <laughs> what? Get out. Um, like I said, I I I'm not a big milk stout guy, but you no. see how fast I inhaled that. So I like. I think I like dragon's milk better than I. Like this. this just goes. This just goes to show. Like what I was saying about 450 North, everything I've tried, I've really, really enjoyed. And yeah, I've I'm enjoyed now three it all. for three with shit that I really fucking enjoy. Yeah, I've enjoyed it all, even the stuff that I don't like. So you you said you tasted the Choco Nugs, right? The Cocoa Nugs? That's I'm gonna call yeah, it Choco uh, Nugs. I had I had a can of that <coughs> for New Year's, I think. Nick. And you enjoyed that, right? Yeah. Okay. It was okay. It was a lot like this. Was, was it better than this? I would say, yeah. I think I liked. I think I liked it better, but I don't know. I was also really drunk New Year's. Yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> so, <laughs> Rachel says, "Ketchup, uncultured swine." Rachel, I love that you're phrase. a coward, and you didn't come here. Yeah, Rachel, you were supposed to be a guest tonight, but you didn't show. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. wait for like a topic to come up. All right. So, <laughs> I said last week uh, during the our Monster Hunter stream that this was finally going to be the episode where heritage is explained yes. and dissected. Yes. And I feel that for everybody that's listening and for everybody that's watching, it's it's time 
it's time for some closure. Because I've said Heritage a lot very enthusiastically. Yeah. And the whole point of Heritage is to make fun of someone. So, and, and a group of people in general. Yeah, it started as someone very specific, but then it, it kind of grew. And then it just became the thing that we just do just because we can. Everybody's got a coin to catchphrase. Yeah. And I'm an opportunist, so I saw my opening and I took it. And Heritage has been with us ever since. So, one day not long ago at the old Subaru Automotive Indiana hell. Um, hell itself. <laughs> One of our uh, illustrious co-workers was uh, in somewhat of a debate with some other of our uh, co-workers. And at one point, and this was about race and religion and Trump, like most debates today start from. Doesn't and they're all, the all stupid. Thing. What? Race, religion, and Trump. All related. Illuminati confirmed. But, um, so, he made the comment that... Do you want the rest of this, by the way? Yeah. I'll take a little bit. I don't know that I want the rest of it. Here, just have a can. All right. And drink what you want. All right. I'm going to drink the rest of it. Okay. But, um, so, he made the comment that, while well, they were talking about the Confederate flag, and people, like we said when we were talking about net neutrality, do your research, form your own opinion. I understand, we all understand that the Confederate flag is a sign of racism and it's a lot of or it's tied to a lot of um anti people of color groups the lgbtq community what have you it, it is an important part of our history and it's something that people should be educated and educate themselves on but this individual was saying that that's his heritage and you know it's a part of who he is and what we ultimately need to do as people is understand that we're all Americans. Yes, our heritage is important, but it does not define who we are as people. Much like sexual orientation or political beliefs, what have you. So, this guy made comments that Trump made, such as, all Mexicans are rapists. And, I mean, he ran the whole gamut of bigotry and just solid stupidity so anytime we say heritage it is making fun of this guy and the groups of people that act like him yes i figured you would have more input than that than just yes we all we all bleed red <laughs> we, we all bleed red we're these all, colors don't run we're we're all the same on the inside i think and a bunch of <laughs> I actually have caught two me livers. off guard. <laughs> I, I think we are all we are all one people, and uh, we are we are all awesome people except for the juggalos. They're not people. We are not down with the clown. If you're a juggalo, leave the podcast right now. What? You don't no! like your kind. We don't drink fucking fago on this podcast. No, or rape fourteen year old girls. So yeah, we don't condone any of that. We don't condone miracles. That. Bad song. I'm so not a raper. <laughs> <laughs> he actually knows a song and he's like it's not good that's the only icp <laughs> song i've ever listened to and i thought it was terrible and i thought the music video looked like it was made in fucking microsoft paint i'm gonna get flack for this but i've listened to three icp songs that Son i can of actually a bitch. that i can get actually, out that i can actually name oh god no uh, i had hope for you and he has tattoos on his shoulder <laughs> He's this got was, the whole discography on his back. Yeah, this was like cover. long before I even hated them. I I still didn't like them. I've but, always hated them. But I I started hating them once I started hating their fans, and I still hate their fans more than I hate them. But but yeah. their their fans are a direct represent or they're a mirror image of what they are. They don't even like their fans. <laughs> Most juggalos don't like themselves, so it they fits. shouldn't. They shouldn't. Mm. How could you be a juggalo and look in the mirror? What do we what do we got going on in the comments? I feel like we've got a lot um, so far. So Rachel, she says ketchup, uncultured swine, and we started talking shit to her. She said, "Listen, next week, unavoidable shit this week. Cameron has to come back next week so I can join." Okay. And then Michael Norris of the Game Addicts podcast says, 
So you couldn't make it live, but you can watch it live on Facebook. I heavily translated that. You're welcome, Mike. I still don't understand. <laughs> she says precisely. Nate says preach. Probably something to her about the heritage stuff. Right. Uh, I'm just now reading this Travis. stuff. Uh, Travis says there is nothing wrong with Fago. Wrong. Uh, don't blame Fago. They are guilty by. Okay, he's right. He's kind of right there. You say they're guilty by association. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. But at the same time, uh, they have they've put out no statements. That's saying, all I was gonna say. If yeah. you're if you're a high up uh, board member or something for Fago, I I would assume that you would come out and. Uh, Disassociate yourself with the juggalos. It's like we do not associate with these people. I do what not. What if have... like what if like a high up is watching this right now and they're like they masturbating? Have a hey, they somebody, have a... somebody in the comments, Nate, Mister Podfather, Nate Phillips of Journey into Comics, and all the others, uh, go ahead and ta- find and tag uh, the CEO, the of CEO, Fago. or <laughs> some representative of Fago, and get them watching this. Work your magic, man. What's because magic? think about it this way: if Fago was associated with Nazis, it'd be instantaneous statement, whole shebang. Oh yeah, Fagos are just or uh, not Fagos, <laughs> Juggalos are just Fagos. as bad. Them damn Fagos, Fags, Fags. But uh, <laughs> anyway, not so. I, not a slur. I, I hope everyone understands that when whenever any of us utter heritage, we are not we are not down with the clown. Thank you. That is all. What's up, Baxter? You fat piece of shit. My cat decided dude, he's gonna to join spray us you, and, dude. and love all he's of us. Mark you. You're gonna be his. <laughs> I'm already his. Are we ready to move on to another topic? Do it. All right. Do it. Just do it. So that was really fucking good. <laughs> I do that voice all the time. Can, I really like. I do it too. I really like Palpatine. Can you hit me with that again? Just do it. Awesome. That was really good. Uh, brew it. Ooh. Chew it. Ooh. Well, my I jug. Fucking heritage. I know you're Heritage. Talking. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> I know what video you're quoting. So, um, well, um, this past weekend we had the Super Bowl. I didn't watch it. I did. Uh, unfortunately, being a Patriots fan, uh, I'm the king of unpopular opinions. I like the Patriots. Um, they I respect lost. respect the Patriots. That's the right stance to take. Um, fortunately, it was the Eagles. Uh, my good friend Cameron Webb may or may not be watching. Uh, congrats to Philly. They deserve a Super Bowl win. They've, they're have they long overdue. Um, but the point of my rambling here is not the actual game itself, because we don't talk about sports on Podcastrophy. Hold on. Travis asked if anyone's found the Michael Jackson soundboard yet. Oh, no. Uh, we're we, get- have, we have Cameron. We're getting to that. <laughs> okay, that was really weak. <laughs> Shimona! Woo! Ah! Billy Jean! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go uh, on. No, Travis, uh, soon we will have the Michael Jackson soundboard. Uh, and I kind of want to get a Bill O'Reilly soundboard. <laughs> Just I want to get Brandon's uh, Alex Jones soundboard. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah, man. Hell yeah, man. <laughs> um... But the the ramp my, the point of my rambling here is not the game itself, but all the cool movie trailers that we got. Oh yeah! During the Super Bowl. Oh yeah! The commercials were terrible, like they have been the last couple years. Um, the first one I want to talk about is a Quiet Place. So we got the first uh, teaser for a Quiet Place. What, what is this? I I don't even know about this. That's the John Krasinski. Where people can't talk. Oh yes, the sound yes, one. yes. I believe it's called a quiet I place. I see that so bad. Um, Ooh. but uh, Ooh. so the what we know of the movie so far is there's some apocalyptic event where uh, creatures come and anytime people make sound, these creatures come and murder and kill whatever is making that sound. So uh, John Krasinski's family. All communicate entirely with sound or with sign language. Um, I watched an interview, uh, kind of a behind the scenes of the trailer the other day, and he was talking about how his character goes out on his property with bags of sand and actually covers all of the normal routes that they walk with a path of sand. They all walk barefoot, so 
their footsteps don't make any sound. And for me, just as a movie fan, especially a science fiction and horror mm -hmm. fan, that's a really cool idea because normally movies don't go that in depth with a theme. Oh yeah, you know they'll hit, they'll hit he, they'll he hit a couple, this movie, I uh, which you told me about and I didn't realize, which is really really cool. Um, you know he's most famous for The Office, yeah, and then you know how many John Krasinski movies can you name off the top of your head? I can't name that many. Uh, License to Wed, uh, right over the top. Uh, that's got Robin Williams. It wasn't a good movie. <laughs> Thirteen Hours, a uh, fantastic movie, military movie about oh, Benghazi. I, I wanted to see that. Actually. It's really good. Um, anyway, so it's nice to see him doing more, especially outside uh, the box, outside especially of box. outside of acting. Yeah, 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 that's true. Yeah. So, um, but uh, Emily Blunt is his uh, co-star mm -hmm. as the wife of the family. Um, in the trailer, you see a lot of cool scenes with her being terrified and. You know, you see the kids running from these creatures and trying to hide. There, there's a lot of cool imagery in the trailer. You have to run, too. Right. There's a lot of cool imagery in the trailer. At one point, the the children are inside of a grain bin, corn silo, for people that don't know what a grain bin is. Um, and there's a like a door, like an access door uh, higher up on the, the grain silo, and the door is swinging. And the hinges are making a really loud noise. And the kids are down in it being completely silent, but they're terrified. And then right before that scene cuts, you see the uh, silhouette of the creature drop down and make lots of noise and like kind of growl. And then the scene cuts. So what I'm gathering from this is this could be the worst movie in the world. But everything that they're – not that I'm saying it's going to be. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But everything that they're hitting in the trailer is all really, really good imagery. And, you know, you got to think about it. This is a movie. Obviously, it's going to have sound. It's not Charlie Chaplin in the silent movie mm -hmm. or the great train robbery. But the characters in this movie, the whole backstory is they have to be completely silent all the time. So it's cool to see a movie rely on – you know, sound when there's supposed to be absence of sound yeah. and imagery. So, Do you think there's going to be music? Like, no, that's a cool idea though. It could be completely devoid of soundtrack. Like, yeah, devoid of background music. Obviously, yeah. you know, outside of like menacing, mm -hmm. like the Michael Myers music. Um, but yeah, I, I look forward to that one. That one looked. Yeah, I've, I've been I've been eyeing that one for a while. Um, Next next trailer? Uh, the next one is Cloverfield. I haven't watched that yet. So I but have not... it, that's that's already available to So everyone. as soon as the Super Bowl ended, it aired on Netflix or debuted on Netflix. So the first Cloverfield movie uh did not very or not get very good uh critic reviews. Um and then, like most of our society now, people jumped on it and shit on it immediately. Form your own opinion about Cloverfield. I thought it was okay. Um, it was one of the first movies uh, of this generation where it was the, the camera the shot from the camera. So, yeah. you know, and after Cloverfield, that picked up a lot. A lot of movies started doing it. Um, Chronicle. Chronicle. Um I haven't seen the second one, Ten Cloverfield Lane. Me either. It has nothing to do with it. I it does. It does. It does. Wait, it does? It does? Yes, they're all tied together. I thought it didn't because I watched it and it has nothing. It doesn't. Yeah, they're like the, they they release a statement that they are all tied together. You just have to really look for it. Okay. Um. So, I'm definitely going to watch Ten Cloverfield Lane before I watch this third one. I watched a spoiler free review. Um. That hit on a lot of good points. They said the acting and the cast is phenomenal. They said the plot is, of course, convoluted and doesn't really make any sense. And it's hard to discern how it ties together with the rest of the movies. Um, but I, I would imagine if you treat it as just a sci-fi movie and not a sci-fi movie in a trilogy of bad uh -huh. sci-fi movies, uh -huh. that it'll be really good. So, And it's on Netflix, so you don't have to pay for yeah, it. Yeah, it's already up. Yeah, you don't have to pay for it or mm -hmm. nothing. So... I was really pissed. Speaking of that, um, so when the interview came out, okay, it only played I think in select theaters, mm -hmm. and then it well no it 
everybody was really worried about it, so all the theaters started taking it down. Well, we were worried about getting nuked by yeah. North Korea. And so, consequently, they're like, okay, well, we're just going to put it on YouTube Red. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I, I purchased I had, it. I had no desire to watch that movie, so I don't... I did, and then it, it wasn't as great as I thought it would be. I've talked about on the podcast before how I'm not a big James DeFranco DeFranco. I always say it that way. <laughs> uh, I'm just I'm not a Franco Brothers guy. I bought it. I bought it for like ten dollars on YouTube, mm. and uh, shortly after that, it, it was it not very long after that it was on Netflix. Right. I was like, of course. <sighs> um, are we gonna talk about any other movie trailers? Because I I have one that I've seen on like Instagram and stuff recently. I don't yep. know if it was on Super Bowl. But it's like a movie called uh, Annihilation or something. Oh, yeah. That looks really interesting. Yeah. I haven't seen an actual full trailer, but I saw whatever teaser is out. So hit it with it, or hit us with it, Cameron, because uh, I don't know that I've seen anything for basically that. You tagged what? me in it the other day. <laughs> I, I remember I was hanging out with my girlfriend, and you're like, oh, I was playing Monster Hunter with you, my girlfriend by my side, and... Uh, <laughs> You, you're like, hey, this movie with Natalie Portman. Oh, yes, I have seen a trailer for that. That looks really, really good. Yes. I, so go ahead, Cameron. I mean, I, I saw it, and it's like, it's a really cool concept. It, from what I got from the trailer, it looks like, uh, I guess, like, a circle started coming out from somewhere in Africa, and it's, like, reconverting all these, like, cities or, like, human-made structures back into nature and it's like mutating animals like into like some weird like primal forms and stuff what i what i got from it is it's it's kind of a serious version of the movie evolution of the early okay. 2000s I so love that movie. so whatever phenomena is taking place in this place i'm an idiot whatever phenomena is happening is as cameron just said Basically converting uh, our planet's life and man-made structures into whatever else that it's doing. And Natalie Portman's character and a team of all women scientists, I assume, go into this zone to uh, investigate and study and see what the hell is happening um, the guy that plays Poe Dameron, I can't ever remember his name. Uh, Oscar Isaac. Okay, Oscar Isaac is in the movie as Natalie Portman's husband, I believe. Some sick guy. Um, he goes into this zone, comes out, he's sick. Uh, that's the theme, uh, or the backstory that we have, that we know of, where anybody that goes in either doesn't come back, or I believe he might be the first person to go in and actually come back out. Yeah. Um, but there's a scene... Uh, or a small bit of dialogue in the trailer where Natalie Portman has either come out of this area or is currently in it, and she says, I'm infected by whatever this is. So I don't know if it's going to be a I'm slowly being mutated into something else or it's slowly killing me. I don't know. Um, another movie, just like A Quiet Place, that has a lot of really cool imagery in the trailer. Yeah. Um, I look forward to that one, especially because I really love Natalie Portman as an actress. You know, set aside the fact that she's hot, but she is a really good actress. She and, is, and you and know, I like I like her. It's hard for her. I I, I don't want to say she was typecast because that's not the right way to describe it. Um, but after the prequel trilogy of Star Wars, she hasn't done a whole lot. She's done a couple rom coms, and you know, not that she needs to. I like I appreciate when an actor. Does a lot of cool stuff, and then they take a break because yeah. they don't have to. She did V for Vendetta and Black Swan, but I think other than that, I don't know. Uh, she did uh, No Strings Attached, I believe, with yeah, Ashton yeah, Kutcher. Yeah. Um, but hasn't done a whole lot the last couple of years, and it's nice to see her kind of get back in back yeah, involved sure. in acting. I mean, she did all that stuff, and then she had the whole Lonely Island thing, mm -hmm. <laughs> that song. Right. Ridiculous, <coughs> ridiculous song. But... Uh, you have any more to add to that, Cameron? Um, no, not really. I don't. I don't watch very many movies okay. besides The Room over and over. All right. Give us your best Tommy Wiseau impression. Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> it's like you're just talking so normal. So literally just your regular voice. You just talk normal. All right. Oh hi Mark. So Oh hi Mark. I don't That's I don't actually know. that was actually a good one. Oh hi Mark. Aha uh-huh, Mark. Uh I'm trying to think of like a, a such really a funny, funny story quote. Mark. Tell me about your sex Hi life. doggy. <laughs> hi doggy. You're my favorite customer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Moving on from the room. There was another movie trailer um there was a couple movie trailers. Well, this <laughs> this one I want to talk about specifically because it has uh, an actress in it that you and I both really appreciate in Jennifer Lawrence. Yes. And the reason I, I wanted to talk about this one before any of the other ones, um, she announced not long ago that she is taking a break from acting. Yeah. So it's kind of odd to see her release that, that statement and then, boom, right into another movie. Um, so... This movie's called Red Sparrow, and from what I'm gathering, and I, I know a little bit about it, it's based on a book um, that was written not long ago, and before the book was even published, the author agreed, or sold the movie rights, and agreed to write a sequel before the book was even published. Mm-hmm. So I don't know how this book has been received, I don't know... Um, I don't know anything about the book other than the fact that it's about basically a female James Bond esque character, kind of kind of like Atomic Blonde okay. that was done with Charlize Theron not long ago. Um, the trailer, lots of action, lots of uh, risque Jennifer Lawrence scenes. Yes, I remember I, seeing this now. I'm 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 in. That I just need of Jennifer course. Lawrence, and I'm in. Yeah, I'm she's a phenomenal agreed. actress. Again, she's set, hilarious. She's very, very funny. Uh, yeah, like I, I, I think she's like one of the funniest chicks out there. And well, and she, she has, a, she, she conveys a lot of humor without saying anything. It's just her facial expressions. Yeah, it's. I think it's just the fact that she's just so real that makes her really funny. Absolutely, because she's just being herself, mm-hmm. honestly, which is crazy. Um, Silver Linings Playbook. Oh, I fucking love that movie. Fantastic that movie, movie is hilarious. You know, you've got it's not supposed to be, but it is. You've got Bradley Cooper and Jennifer Lawrence, who are both very similar people that are just being themselves mm-hmm. on screen, which is really cool to see. So, um, speaking of the Eagles, right? Um, <laughs> yeah, you, we saw Bradley Cooper a lot during the broadcast. Um, big Eagles fan. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna say that I'm gonna see Red Sparrow in theaters. Yeah, I won't. Um, but I'm soon to obtain my movie pass. Oh, yeah? And um, if you and I are bored on a Saturday, uh, we might go see Red Sparrow in theaters. <laughs> so um, okay. we'll, we'll leave that one up to fate and see what happens there. But it, I, that genre is just is kind of tough because, you know, you have James Bond, you have your Jack Reachers, your Matt Ryans. um all great movies or no I don't want to say all great movies but great franchises built off of book series that are all super um, successful and then again equality is something that we all should have but we're in the time now where we're not going to get James Bonds all the time now we're getting the female versions of James Bond yeah. to compensate for the lack of that over the last yeah, 40 definitely. years. So uh, I don't have high hopes for it, but again, it's Jennifer Lawrence. So exactly. how are you going to complain? Well, yeah, you can, you really can't unless you and, don't like her. But. Well, and you know what I just said, there was a trailer for a new Mission Impossible movie. How much really? longer is Tom Cruise going to do Mission Impossible movies? I, I was ready to be done with Mission Impossible after the second one. I have seen yeah. no other Mission Impossible after the second one. I don't need to see them. There's, I think, been four yeah, since then. Maybe. I don't know. Um, this one's called Mission Impossible Fallout. Of course. So. All right. So um, I, there's still a couple trailers left, and we'll get to those because well, those are the big ones. Especially because one of them dropped today. Oh yeah, <laughs> we'll get to that. I'll save that one for last. Those those are big ones, but uh, before we do that, one. we're gonna kind of take a, a short break from our own talking. And uh, so this this past Sunday, uh, my good friend Ryan Strain, his band Recode the Subliminal, uh, dropped a new single. And what's cool about this is, besides the fact that it's a really good song, it's from my bu- my buddy Ryan, um, and it's new. 
the cool thing is, so a while back, uh, I think either the band page or him himself uh, posted something saying, hey, we're looking for a female vocalist. And, of course, I I had to suggest the only female vocalist around here that I know, and uh, that's Katie Thompson of Chiasma. And so I was I just tagged her in it and let it go. Shortly after, it was actually announced that this was going to be the next single, and it said featuring Katie Thompson. I'm like, holy shit! You That's actually cool. That's really cool. That that I, I'm so glad I could set that up because Ryan he lives in like Oregon, I think. The Pacific Northwest. The Pacific Northwest, that area. Pretty sure it's Oregon. Uh, and then the rest of the bands in Eastern Europe. That's cool. So, like very widespread band, internet band, and then now we have someone that's gets to be part of it from the Midwest and that's awesome. Oh, he's in he lives in Washington. I was close. Thanks was close. Ryan for participating. But uh uh real quick, uh our good friend Joe Grimes yes. has requested me do something. He says, "Tyler my brother, can I get a hell yeah?" Yes, Joe, you can get a hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah, man. Hell yeah, man. All right, guys, this is in a different light featuring Katie Thompson. By Recode the Symboliminal. This is taken off their YouTube page. Like, do you want commentary or do you just want to listen? Yeah, to we it? can commentary. I like the synth right out of the gate. Yeah. I love that the artwork's really cool too. I love this riff. I fucking love this riff. I do too. This is easily this is easily gonna be one of my favorite songs on this track. Well on this it, album. it pale it pairs really well with the synth. It's not mm -hmm. too much actual music, too much electronic, it pairs really well together. Fuck you, Joe. Ryan says song sucks already. Ryan has a really awesome range. I'm when this album drops, I'm gonna give it to you, mm -hmm. and we're gonna do a full review of it. Okay, I'm cool. With I, that. I think you'd really like it. I like it so far. All right. Some reason I thought this was gonna be a lyric video. That's why I had the video. <laughs> I like the video. Yeah, it's a really cool, really cool animations and all that. Learn how to do that. Learn how to do that. <laughs> well, I need a computer first. I've been without a computer since 2009. Damn. Really cool solo. I love the back and forth between I do them too. in this part. Well, you and I have talked about how 
how much I love female vocalists yeah. in this type of music. Um, uh-huh. From Katie, I get uh, a lot of the Amanda Seyfried, or, uh, hold on, I'm not saying the right name. All right, that was In a Different Light by Rico the Subliminal featuring Katie Thompson. Go check out uh, Rico the Subliminal and be sure to check out their new album, Disconnected. Uh, I think it's out. Yeah, it says, available everywhere March 1st. So, uh, yeah, go give them a like and all that shit. Uh, I look forward to reviewing this because I'm already very interested. From Katie, I get a lot of uh, Alina Sigmund vibe. Sigmund. Uh, so if you, I don't know if you know or not, uh, a lot of the Easter egg songs from the Call of Duty Black Ops games. Mm-hmm. Um, Never played any of them. Well, I didn't expect you to, but if you did certain things in the game or in the zombie mode, you could um, initiate songs to play. Okay. And Alina Siegman did all of the songs. One of them is called Abracadaver. Ooh. It's a good song. I'll have you listen to it later. Okay. But very, very similar uh, sound. I'm hooked already. Oh, yeah. So uh, Yeah, Katie's an awesome vocalist. She's, she's like I said, she's from an uh, indie band, uh, Chiasma, mm-hmm. and they've played here multiple times. Uh, she's come to multiple Doom Room shows and hung out. She's cool. always down. Like always you said, cool. one, one of my favorite parts from the song is the back and forth. Yeah. You know, a lot of people try that, and they don't nail it. Because it's too much of one and not the other. Uh huh. That was perfect. Oh yeah, definitely. So uh, I've been I've been friends with Ryan or, uh, or at least internet acquaintances with Ryan for at least eight years now. That's cool. Uh, it started out as like a, a real like a, a, a kind of a, a vocalist rivalry mm-hmm. because he he was like one of the only people I knew that actually knew my at the time favorite band across the sun okay i found him because he did a vocal cover of one of their songs and i i remember listening to it and i'm like he's good but i could i, I could do better and i never got around to it until like way later so when... it started as a personal challenge oh basically. yeah definitely i was like oh come on man like like that's really good but you didn't really sound like the song like i could i could sound exactly like this guy and i can <laughs> but um so like later on, then he started. He he mostly did vocal covers at first, and then uh, I just started following him around, and commenting on his stuff all the time. Mm-hmm. Uh, so then we just added each other on Facebook, and then he started releasing like original music with uh, his band Sea of Trees. Okay, and that's some awesome shit too. Uh, I'm still waiting on a new album from them. If you're still listening, Ryan. Ryan. But he he explained that in his uh, recent video in a recent video on YouTube, like why that's kind of gone on hiatus. On hiatus. Um, <laughs> But no, they so Rico the Subliminal. I think they're coming up on two years since their last album. Okay. And uh, I, when I was writing for uh, the the magazine, the online magazine Drunk Octopus, I did a review on the first album. And one of the things I always I said was um, that every song, like despite it all being metal, uh, very heavy metal, uh, it there's there's something there for anyone. Okay. Like there. No matter what style of heavy music you're into, there's something there for you, and uh, that I think that's going to reign true for this album. As okay, well. um, I look forward to listening to it. Ryan, he's got a, he's got a wide range with his voice. Like, there's I think there's a couple times I've even asked him, like, all right, did, is there a guest vocalist on this? He's like, no, that's all me. I'm like, really? Because I've never heard you do that before. Mm-hmm. And, and he's always. He's one of those uh, vocalists that's always pushing the limits of his voice, always trying something, trying to find something new to do with his voice. Um, lately, all of his vocal covers, they've been like power metal songs or opera or pop songs. Okay. Like he's, he's done some Elvis. He's done some Camelot. He's done Fi- like Firewind, I think. Hell yeah. Um, Hell yeah, man. And he's, he's done all kinds of stuff. He's got such a, a huge range with his voice. And he started out doing like Lamb of God and Black Dahlia murder covers. Okay. Is, like super generic for vocal covers on right. YouTube, but now he's branching out and it's, uh, or he's been branching out for a while, but I think it, it's great. He's hopefully going to go on to do some pretty fucking awesome things in the future. Well, I look forward to I do too. Uh, being along for the ride. 
But, um, so quick update. Uh, I have finished the can of cookies and cream nugs. Mm-hmm. Uh, Am I a designated driver? No. Uh, big We're fan. We're going to die. Big fan all the way through. Sweet. It, awesome. I'm my glad opinion, you like it. My opinion of it did not change from first taste to final gulp. Big fan. See, I've, I've, I was thinking about that a little bit ago because I just I started noticing it. And I'm like, and I, then I realized it was a familiar feeling. Mm-hmm. Uh, stouts and milk stouts just do not is sit it, in my Is stomach. it the lactose? It might be. And I'm not lactose intolerant or anything. Well, um, with, a lot, with a lot of things that have lactose added to them, you know, your body is used to ingesting cheese and milk and things mm-hmm. that naturally contain lactose. With the, with the additional lactose as an ingredient, it kind of fucks with your brain. Okay. And, you know, when you eat milk, especially, milk is very acidic. Well, those those types of things, they don't digest fast at all. Right. So that's what, so, I'm, that's what I'm getting at is it, it's sitting there. Well, when that lactose in your is in your mouth, it's telling your brain to prep your digestive system for milk or cheese or something like that. So it produces more or less acid in your stomach to be prepared for what's getting ready to hit it. And then when all that hits your gut, it's not in the environment that it should be to actually digest it. So it kind of throws your gut out of whack. Mm-hmm. Makes little, sense. little science for you there. Science. Fuck yeah. Oh, hell yeah, man. Oh, hell yeah, man. So, do we want to go right back into a couple movie stuff, or do you have something else kind of as the interlude before we get to the big stuff? I remember you saying you were going to do something to Cameron. This has kind of uh, been a a thing that I've building been building up to all week and I feel that it it's necessary for it to happen. So if you're ready it's not going to be as over over the top as I originally planned cuz I don't have holy water or a cross to burn him on. <laughs> um but I feel I feel it's time. Are you ready, Cameron? I feel like uh, Infinity War would be a lot better movie if it's just three hours of Stanley sitting on a chair slowly dying. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wow. All right, he's definitely ready. Yeah, he's ready. <laughs> Here we go, folks. Hold your mic like this. What if I exercise and fucking toss it? Then I'll kill you. <laughs> by the power invested in me, by Bitcoin, and... <laughs> TD Ameritrade, I cast you out, demon! <laughs> I cast you out! The power of Christ compels you! I say, with all the power that was given to me, can I get a ye? Yay! You have been cleansed. Uh, that gurgling sound, it kind of reminded me of that one song. I don't remember what it's called, but it's, there's a part in the song where, where the guy just goes, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? No, Are you talking I, about Down With The Sickness? Maybe. Is it a disturbed song? Uh, I think that might be That's it. Down With <laughs> Sickness. There's like a part where he just goes, <laughs> or something like that. Uh, Gollum actually I provided wish I could guest scream vocals. right now. I've, I've been working... I've been like kind of trying to get my voice back to where it was. My I, my my singing's probably about at a seventy percent of what it was, and okay. then my screams are about thirty percent. Not fun. Uh, Ryan, he says thanks for the kind words. Let me know when you want me want me on officially later, bro. Hell yeah, man. Oh hell yeah, man. Uh yeah, like I can't wait to have Ryan on. I just got to figure out all this Skype shit. Well. I, I just want to say the kind, you know, a lot of times uh, we as people give, especially in like shit that, like this we're trying to do, uh-huh. we extend a lot of pleasantries. You know, we're trying to 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 market ourselves. He's trying to market himself yeah, exactly. and his band, you know, so we kind of uh, symbiote ourselves. Yeah. And, you know, like part of the reason I, I enjoy doing this and part of the reason I actually wanted to do this was so I could have people on and mm-hmm. 
let them promote their thing and get get the word out about their stuff. Well, there's so many cool people that we know. Oh yeah, that all have great shit going on. Mm-hmm. And what I was getting to, the point that I was getting to was, you know, we're not on here promoting Sham Wows and OxyClean. No, you guys listen to it. You either like it or you don't. We really liked that song. Blaine really likes their music, and I'm now really excited to get into their music and listen to more. So it's really genuine. So the uh, the kind words weren't fabricated or sugar coated. We really meant what we said, and um, that's kind of the the grounds of our podcast. Going back to that album though, it's a it's a concept album. Have you played the game uh, Deus Ex? Uh, no, but I did just download it. Okay, cool. Uh, I guess the game is or the the album is a concept album based off of that game series. Ah, oh, that's really so, cool. Uh, and it, it like the disc. I love the album artwork. Let me see if I can pull that up. Yeah, real see quick. if you can pull that up. It looked like a it looked like a little robot boy holding hands with a little human boy. The the album art's really cool because it. Hold on. Let me pull it up for our live people. What if like a bunch of porn just popped up? <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, I okay, didn't so want you guys if, to if see you that. look at it. Okay, so the background, the colors are really cool because you got red and blue. You got that dichotomy right there. Uh, then you got like a, a city, a no. blurred cityscape and rain in the background. Some water drops on what on the camera or or window. Um, and then you have two hands holding each other. There, there are two hands being held. One of them is robotic and the other is human. But like some bandages on and I, I see there's like a wound and it looks like some barbed wire They're holding hands but like i i really i love the imagery here i absolutely love this imagery well it's very police-esque in the background yeah with the red and blue lights and then you know you've got the barbed wire um kind of draped around both of their arms so are they are they reaching through kind of like a police barricade is this a riot situation type of thing? You know, civil unrest. It's, it's very cool imagery, definitely. It is. I like that a lot. Uh, I, yeah. Are they just some bros fucking slapping some skin? They could be. <laughs> some skin and some metal. Yep. Anyway. Back to what we were talking about. <laughs> well, we weren't really talking about anything. We're, we we were talking oh, about yeah, we were talking the promoting. subliminal and Andy and how genuinely we like their stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I love it when I... check their stuff I, out. <laughs> I, love it, I love it when I say something like really deep and complex and then you just sit there the whole time and I'm like, okay. What's he thinking? He's building up for something <laughs> grand right now to, and then I completely to kind of crescendo let you down. over top of what I just said and then you just hit me with a yes. <laughs> or a yep. Okay, unrelated. This nice person sent me a friend request earlier, and I added them, and uh, they they immediately hit me with a hardball. They they're like, "Come watch my sexy big ass videos on <laughs> this random website that will give your phone a virus." You should get your phone a virus. No, I I completely I've uh you're mature enough to know now that there's not hot sexy. <laughs> I hot. fucked it up. <laughs> Am I rubbing off on you? There's not hot, <laughs> sexy singles looking for you nearby? Dude, that fucking 800-year-old woman was looking really fine Oh god! on that ad. You've been around Joe too much. <laughs> um, No, but funny enough, basically when I decommissioned my computer, when I realized it wasn't, it was getting too old to like really run games well, because like I used to run really beautiful games on it, like Guild Wars and shit. And now, now it runs at like fucking ten frames and shit. So, uh, I just converted it to the I call it the porn top now. I haven't had a computer since two thousand nine. So, are you GB German Baptist? <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually Mormon. Since, since we have okay, an announcement, so... we have an announcement on podcast. Yeah, 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 yeah. Blaine, Cameron, and two of our. Uh, co-workers and i are all running away to utah to become mormons and live in a commune yes i was not told about this you're going yeah you're a house slave yep don't rub your beard on the pop filter <laughs> god damn it cameron i will spray you with a squirt bottle no one said not to <laughs> oh my god we shouldn't have to damn it 
I, I don't know. I just have the shitty fucking Dollar oh General headsets. <laughs> it, Dollar General. They have them. No, it's really fun because you can fucking put that little mic in your mouth and you go be like, Ooh. no, I like uh, my friend will be like, oh, Cameron, where, where the fuck are you? I'm like, I'm right over here because <laughs> it's literally in my mouth. <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. Bitcoin. You just sounded retarded. <laughs> Bitcoin. <laughs> Have you ever seen the Inami Numai Kandai rat video? No. No. What? <laughs> There's this weird video on YouTube where this guy like pronounces words really weird, and he's like dissecting a gummy rat. Okay. <laughs> you can we are we able to pull that up or? If you're like uh, copyright I don't know if I issues. Want to. What? Well, okay, so what am I looking up? Uh, look up gummy rat video. I think that's. Sorry, I accidentally pulled the mic away from my face. Like gummy a... rat. Yeah, gummy rat video. It's really weird and unsettling. <laughs> Is this it, this? Cameron? This right here. Gummy Jelly pet. belly pet rat gummy candy. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah, it is. I, I just want to go ahead and. Mother of God! Please make it stop! Oh my God! We're only thirty seconds in, and it's a two and a half minute video. We could easily stop at any time. I don't know if I want to. This guy's a sick bastard. He even has gloves on. <laughs> Very good boy. Oh God! What is he doing to it? Oh my funky! <laughs> Yeah, he started fucking shredding that shit. No! Let's keep watching. Snipe it off. Ah, it's cutting his eyes off. No! This is one sadistic fuck. Why? He's tearing me apart. This is the very tip of the iceberg. I have seen some very, very unsettling. I can show you guys some dark shit on YouTube that it make, would make you wake up in a cold sweat in the middle of the night. I'm sorry I made you guys watch that. Um, oh my god! Mother of God! Uh, would you care wow. if I showed him the? The Eye of the Spider video. Yes, I would care. Eye of the Spider, what? You don't want to see it, Blaine. It's, okay. a, it's a Minecraft parody. There's another one. It's called. It, there's more videos from yeah. this guy. Don't. Melting a chocolate Easter bunny by singing. <laughs> there's, there's a, okay, there's a really, really weird section of YouTube where people do, like, weird, like, uh, fucking Kinder Surprise Egg unboxings for, like, kids, and there's, like, people that make really weird, like, kid directed videos uh -huh. and they're like animated so weird and so unsettling like they'll have singing and there's like one where like is this like creepy pasta stuff it's almost creepy pasta stuff like there there's like some hardcore conspiracies like there's this one channel that makes these fucking it's called like fi uh, finger family music video or something and a, a amount just a really random videos they make and the amount of videos they make i think it might be like a secret ai made by google that's hidden on the moon and will uh 
and is just programmed to make fucking finger family videos. If you type in Donald Trump versus Gorilla Finger Family, I guarantee you could probably find it. Or just some, just type in something random. Just type in something random followed by Finger Family, and it probably has made it. Mm. There's also uh. So he can breathe. (laughs) Good God! I don't know how I can go on with my life after. But no, that that's you think I wanted to die before? That's (laughs) here's some apple seeds. (laughs) No, that that's literally the tip of iceberg. There is some weird, like I feel like stuff that's made on a deep web that leaked onto YouTube, and it it makes me. I've actually had nightmares from some of the stuff I've seen on YouTube. All right. Because what, a, of, what a beta. Yeah, I know. I'm a weak. My my family abandoned me and I was raised by wolves. And the wolves thought I was too weak, so they abandoned me. So I was raised by horses instead. And they abandoned you, so you were raised by frogs. No, I was raised by Subaru. Mm. Yeah. So basically you were raised by me. Heritage. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, man. Oh, I've, told, yeah. I've told you a lot here lately, especially this week, that you've spent too much time around me. Because normally you're pretty upbeat and positive about a lot of stuff. And you're hitting me with a lot of ultra negative, dark vibes, dark vibes here lately. Actually, funny enough, um, ironically, I, I was like, I'm very... Gay? Yes. No, I'm 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 a lot like you before like you met me. Yeah, basically like I was like kind of like dark mindset and shit, like really toxic personality, but I was still like a jokingly good person. Like me. Yeah. But like uh then you bought I, Bitcoin. I was still <laughs> I uh <laughs> I invested in sweat oh. coin and I just fucking tossed my phone onto a treadmill. I'm vegan. Oh. I'm gonna get vegan tattooed onto my eyeball. Hell yeah! But Hell yeah. um. Hell yeah, man! I don't even remember what I was talking about. Oh, okay. I was I was a pretty negative person, but like I didn't really show my negativity at work because I didn't want to set off a bad first impression. You didn't want a chain reaction of negativity. You were very quiet at first. I thought you. I, I'll tell you right now. I thought you were mentally handicapped. I. No, I, okay, the only people I talked to was literally German and Eddie, because, like, they're the only people, I, like, I talked to at first, and, and Joe. Is I it because to, they were brown jo- and you well, were Well, you didn't talk to Joe, Joe talked to you. <laughs> That's okay. true. That's very uh, true. It always I remember happens. when you first started, I was like, because I, I was, I, at that time, at that moment in time, I was constantly being moved around, go, subbing on other teams, and so I would hear all these stories about Richard making fun of Cameron. <laughs> Because of your Velcro Most, shoes. Mostly mostly from Richard. Right. <laughs> He'd be like, yeah, fucking, fucking Velcro over here. I call, uh, what did he call you? Macklemore. Uh, Macklemore. <laughs> fucking Macklemore. He says Macklemore. That's how you're supposed to say it. Not Is Macklemore. It? Oh. We could pull up that Minecraft thrift shop parody. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. I'll pass on that. I think there's more Minecraft parodies than actual songs at this point. All right, I feel you. Um... But no, like, I'm not, it's weird because, like, this is basically, like, my first job. Like, I worked at a pizza place for, like, a, a few months. You basically owned that pizza place. I worked there by myself, mostly. Exactly. Um, basically, like, I, I went to, I just got out of high school, and I was, like, senior. Like, I knew everyone. I was, everyone looked up to me. I was. <laughs> Put your hand out. <laughs> that was well, me no, slapping like, his hand. People did. I feel like people did actually look up to me because, like, I could have graduated early. Well, I could have graduated on time. Technically, like, I switched schools when I was a little kid, and it caused me to get held back because they didn't teach me to write stuff to continue on to first grade. So okay. I would basically repart- repeated kindergarten. Okay. But I ended up like taking classes, and I was able to. Uh, I realized that if I took. Uh, what was it? I think English online. If I just took that online over the summer, I could have easily just not went my senior year. Okay. And uh, I decided to, you know what? I'll just go to school because I don't feel like wasting my time with summer school. And I took uh, six art classes, and 
then well okay that's a lie i took five art classes a study hall and an english class okay and uh oh wait i also took an econ class but that was only for like the first like semester yeah okay so uh yeah i i would be in the art room all day and i would talk to people i'd help them do their art because i'm i'm really i really like art and stuff you're gonna I, you're actually gonna paint a canvas for me here soon mm-hmm if I if you actually reminded me, I could have even brought like uh, paint, and I could have even started it in here. You could have done some happy trees. Yeah, happy little trees. I appreciated the image that you sealed painted on a car for me today, with the tree and the bird. Oh, actually, yeah, I forgot about that. Um, <laughs> that was a that was even for you. Like spring was just bored, like tapping the thing with her brush, and I was like, look at this. And I took my squeegee and I just went. Psh- I don't like her. You don't like You've spring? You've told me. No, hell no. I like spring. I don't. She doesn't do her job. What do you mean she doesn't do her job? She leaves cars in the station unfinished oh. and doesn't do her quality checks and complains about being at work all day and has a goon squad with Doris and Tiffany. So. Interesting. It, it's kind of funny, that whole the Doris-Tiffany thing, because uh, Tiffany talks shit behind Doris' back 24-7. But, but Tiffany is Doris's beta. Yeah, which is hilarious because we used to call Doris Tiffany's mom. And and Spring is the mastermind of the whole thing behind the scenes. Yeah, she's the only intelligent one there. Yes, she's the she's the the Russian hacker. Yes. So uh, I have another little rant that I want to go on real quick. Rant away. Um. So here recently, in the media. In our personal lives, period, dot, everything, people have kind of been trying to shit on Podcastrophy, and you might uh, remember the Facebook type deal that I was talking about, or that we were involved in, you so more than me, Um, but it it, kind of got under my skin, and it's bothered me here lately, It's, it's very difficult to get under my skin and um aggravate me enough that is this what i think it is i think where so. i took the screenshot and sent yes, it to the group yes, chat yes. okay so uh, we're we as podcastrophy are trying to uh branch out and you know just do some stuff that we enjoy we're playing monster hunter together we're trying to twitch stream and you know we're trying to give everybody good content and this is total grassroots stuff. We're not we're not doing this for money. No, we're you know, doing we don't get we paid to do it. this shit. This is hours of our day that we're taking time away from our families and just doing cool stuff that we like to do. And when people say, "Well, this is just a fad," and you know they're just trying to get rich and blah blah blah, they blah, sold blah. out. I, I I don't I don't appreciate that and and this isn't a personal attack to that person no. if they're watching. This is just overall where we're at in society. Anytime somebody tries to do something that they enjoy and 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 do a good job and try and be successful, um, we shit on it as a people, and I just don't understand why. You know not. I haven't been at Subaru very long and I haven't I haven't known you very long. I consider you one of my best friends because we've you know, we clicked almost immediately. Um but once you we, thought I was a douchebag at first. At first I thought you were a douchebag <laughs> because you wouldn't speak to me and you were very pretentious in the way that you did speak. Um <gasps> <laughs> But you know, once once we started to open up to each other, you know, we a very awesome friendship has blossomed from this. I mean, I'm your fucking co-host on yeah. a podcast. And uh, I, I, I think like 10 episodes before you actually became my co-host, I, I was, I was telling Brandon, I was like, I'm pretty sure Tyler's going to become my, to- my co-host. Like I I'm, may have I'm heard you him. say that one time and it made me feel really good about myself. I'm glad for once, <laughs> but, uh, no, I mean, I just, I don't understand why we shit on everything that has <clears throat> a chance to be good. I mean, when when new actors come into the in, into the fray, we shit on them immediately. Oh yeah, we we've done it with the guy that's playing Han Solo. Oh yeah, we've definitely from talked a the get go. But we ha- know, and we haven't even seen him. act. We haven't so. seen him act, and you know we only have 
basically the media to go off of on why we've been shitting with him. I'll tell you right now, we're going to talk about the solo trailer here in a little bit. I'm super excited to see this movie. Yeah. Um. So I, I just, you know, I don't understand why we have to shit on anything that could be good for no reason. If you don't like to listen to our podcast, if you don't like to watch in our live stream on Facebook or watch us Twitch stream on Twitch, don't watch it. Yeah. I mean, I, I I don't understand why you have to take time out of your day to shit on something for no reason. Use that time to do something constructive. You might find something that you like to do. Yeah, I, I want to also say that this person wasn't specifically shitting on us. And, or, and I, I haven't actually seen anybody specifically shit on us. And th- I don't know why you would. That's why I'm... That, right, <laughs> but, that, but that's why I'm bringing it up. It's It's just the overall concept of... Shitting on something for no reason. Let me find what this person said, and I, I'll I'll also respect it and not be like, uh, um, where is it? Be like, we will not name this person, and then puts like their profile up to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> this person, <laughs> this person says, everyone was trying to be a YouTuber, myself included. Then everyone wanted to be a Twitch streamer. Guilty again. Now it's podcast. Not going to lie, I have been contemplating the idea myself, but I think I'm going to not attempt it. I should focus all my extra time on whatever. Uh, but if anybody wants to get wants a guest discussion, film, TV, game... He, he like, he like says... He, like, shits all over uh, podcast. He, I guess he didn't shit all over, but he's like, yeah, it's just a fad. And then he's like, but if you want me on your show, I'll, I'll be on it. Well, and that, again, I, I'm not personally attacking this person. I have no malice or ill intent towards this person. It's just the idea that just because we're doing this doesn't mean it's a fad. We're doing this because we like to, uh-huh. and we want to give cool content I know, to people. I know this post was made in direct, in direct reply to uh, our, our, our Monster Hunter... Right. Talk on game addicts um, that we posted because I saw him and I saw him join the live feed. Right, and I I commented on this status. I said, "Hope you enjoyed the show earlier." <laughs> but uh, again, I I just want to reiterate the fact that I'm not personally attacking this person. No, no, no ill intent whatsoever. It, it's not. I'm not ranting because of what you said. I'm ranting just because of the overall idea yeah. that we as a society are just so overcritical and of things we don't understand. Of or, things or we don't, don't understand and or... things that we haven't given a chance. Yeah. You know, I agree. And again, that's, that's we're, the... we're all guilty of it. Absolutely. I'm I'm not I'm not saying yeah. that we're not, but I, I just you know, for us we we need to progress as a species. I've said before we need to have a major extinction event because we suck. Um, uh, Yellowstone National Park uh, that's gonna definitely probably blow up in our lifetime. But uh, that'll only reach up to Illinois, so we're good. The ash will totally block out the sun, and then we'll all die. Not over here, I nuclear won't. winter, the whole world heritage. We will all die. But uh, no, I just. Find stuff you like and mm. do what you want to do with your time. We all have a finite amount of time on this earth. Impact it the way that you want to impact it. Otherwise, leave everyone else the fuck alone. Right. I, yeah, I agree. Yeah, and, you know, like, as far as podcasting being a fad or whatever, I didn't see it as a fad. I, I didn't always, either. I, 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 I don't see everybody in our town trying to do it. I see our group of friends trying to do it. Right. Which, I mean, which not only are we do. doing it, but we're badassly doing it. Oh yes, definitely, certainly. No, I started Hell podcasting yeah, because I like to talk about shit. Absolutely, I like to talk about shit. I like to talk about movies. I like to talk about games and music and just life in general. All with the taste of metal. All with the taste of metal. I like to do cool shit with cool people like Cameron. Yes, I like, and the, the why I started this show is because uh, I wanted to be able to talk about. Some of the non nerdy things that I couldn't talk about on Journey into Comics whenever right. I would guest on there. Right. I, I started the show because I have a ton of awesome friends, and that some of which are connected to each other, and others of which have only heard me tell stories of the others. So, like, I want people to actually meet these people. Right. At least in audio form or live stream form and, and I, you know, I i think we talked about that a little bit on my debut episode yeah about getting groups of friends to then become one large amalgamation of friends yeah. 
and that's an really orgy. cool. An orgy of friendship. Good God, Cameron. <laughs> Can you imagine just fucking Joe being tossed in that twister, terrible twister game? He's watching. He was. Joe, I love uh, you. I doubt he still is. I don't care. He doesn't last very long in these. He goes in spurts. <laughs> ah. <laughs> All right. What? 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 But no, I again, I, I didn't want to get all negative. It wasn't a no, negative no, rant. It was all. just, you know, do, like do what you like to do, people. And it's like I PSA. said, leave fucking everybody else alone. Study net neutrality. Public service announcement. Leave everybody the fuck alone. Two let them let them do what they love. You know, if if someone is passionate about something, don't shit all over it because that's something that brings them joy and happiness. That's right. Like, there's we, no reason we do this because we like doing it, not because exactly. we're not because we have to do it. Exactly. 2018. If you want to be a mumble rapper, I'm sorry, but all right. What about the Sudanese rappers? If you want to be a Sudanese rapper, <laughs> if you. If you are already Sudanese and you want to be a rapper, <laughs> I, 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 I can't be a Sudanese rapper. <laughs> yeah, you can. Do, <laughs> Do you like Minecraft and like making covers of songs? Maybe. Oh, there's a whole side of YouTube Aww. just for you. <laughs> Ain't no creepers when I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Well, there is probably the funniest one I ever won was like, uh, was a. Uh, David Bowie's uh, what it, pri uh, ground control. It's like this what? is Major Tom. Yeah, to it's like ground, ground control. control to Major Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Grab your iron pick and your diamond helmet. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, has anyone ever told you that you're the songbird of your generation? Yeah. You sound like a combination of Jesus and Fergie, and I'm hard right now. <laughs> Fergalicious. I might be working on my fitness here in a little bit. Um, I could sing really good hollow notes. Please don't. So, so, Cameron, part of the reason I wanted you on the show is just because some of the shit, I mean, like, and we've t you've been talked about on Journey into Comics. I I don't know if you know this or not, but Brandon and Am Nate, I in a comic? No, but Brandon and Nate have talked about you. Like Nate, Nate's heard about you, and then Brandon just mentioned you, and just like he's like, we've got to get him on a show. So I was the first. I got you on a show. It, wait a minute, is Cameron soon to be the new podcast whore? No, I, I mean maybe if he wants to be, dude. Okay, earlier There's always room. Earlier at work, like we brought up like a hardcore Bukaki video was like <laughs> three hundred. Well, I, I didn't fifty actually, guy cream pie. No, no, no. It was uh, it was like three hundred. And they literally just had a funnel on her, and they, they oh, are like making God. a circle. In the very end, this big fat Chinese guy fucking picks her up over her shoulder, holds her up like this, and dumps <laughs> her out. And it's just like, <laughs> it was it was terrifying. I, also, the video was like three hours long. I literally only watched the first minute, and I like skipped to the very end to him just going. <laughs> It was like the shit was like running down his back, and then for some for some reason, all like all of these photographers are there, and they're just taking you photos of this like a uh, pile puddle of semen. Like it was, whew, that was terrible. Wait, did you did it break you into a sweat? No, because you were afraid for your life. No, I I've seen very vile videos, and right. I I don't even have a gag reflex anymore. <laughs> if because if of you the videos want... or because of fellatio? Uh. Well, yeah. All right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. This or that. Yes. Maybe. <laughs> All of them. Um, trying to think of something else. There, there's a, such so many vile shit I've seen on the internet. Like it stuff that I, I've just been like, I'll go up to my friends and be like, "Hey, look at this," and they'll fucking just throw up, and I'll be laughing about it. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen the BME Pan Olympics? That's fake. Is it? Yeah. They have, uh, <laughs> they have, they have like rubber fucking dick and balls that they made in molds. I'm sorry to burst your bubble. Now, if you want to see a guy getting his entire body destroyed by a hydraulic press, we could pull that up. Please don't. I'm kidding. Don't pull it up. I actually did. Uh, so back in the day, about eight years ago now, uh, I moved in with my friend Justin. 
and we we were, we were trying to. Uh, I'm gonna ignore that. Um, <laughs> I, I I don't want to disrespect him with the Beeb's name. Um, In Beeb, but we tried pray. to start a YouTube channel based off of our roommate ship. Uh, and we were called the boys from 816. Our apartment, our apartment number was 816. Okay. So we were the boys, the boys from 816. And boys, whole, I assume B O I S. No, just boys. Damn it. Yeah, we, that wasn't a thing yet. Quit stroking your mic stand. Stroke it. Stroke it. Stroke it. Uh, but we, we were, we were trying to base our flick it, our, our characters off oh, of like he know. was like a super meathead tool guy. And I, was like, and I was like the super like brutal like death metal Douchebag. guy, and so like our our very first video was like us reacting to the BME Pain Olympics. We didn't watch it, but it was just supposed to be because I had seen it and I fought it. I I found it absolutely revolting, but and he hadn't seen it, but so we just basically found it, uh, pressed play and minimized it so the music was still playing okay. and it was just our our faces reacting to it. Okay, and I'm just like just straight face the whole time just watching it and he's just like in awe and shock and Mother scared. of scared I, I could actually pull it up please don't i'm gonna pull it up <laughs> oh god we're gonna watch it You're, you'll be fine tyler i'll give you my strengths are you pulling up your video or look at that giant ass Olympics? fucking rubik's cube dude look it's even the the guy from spongebob with the big old lips Oh my god, it, it's this is going to be hard to find, actually. The Pain Olympics? I don't think that's on YouTube. No, he's trying to find his video. Oh. For a second, I was like, why is he... I mean, I don't mind if he's going to pull up Pain Olympics on a podcast. Oh my god. I type in brutal reaction and I get a bunch of other things. Fuck. Do you okay. guys want to see a video of me getting pepper sprayed? No. Oh. Nope. Wait, you've been pepper sprayed? Yeah. How'd that go? Uh, I wanted to kill my friends. Why were, okay, give us a little backstory. Why were you pepper sprayed? Did um, you ask for this? Yeah, actually, technically. Or are you so a raper? No, it was, uh, we were filming a movie for school. It was, uh, I think it was like, we were making a video, like a video movie. I of, know what uh, you did next summer? No, it was, uh, Tale of Two Cities. Okay. And, uh, there was a scene where, uh, we were talking, and, uh, like, the joke was, like, I was supposed to be talking, and then uh, Caleb, my friend Caleb would pepper spray me. Oh, shit. Keep going. My friend Caleb would pepper spray me, and I would try to hold, like, hold it, try and stay still while they're talking, and I, it was awful. You can obviously move this to be more comfortable. Go on. Uh, yeah, that... That's the only time we're. I'm probably gonna get pepper sprayed again. At Hopefully, some point. we're going. We're we we're gonna try during the summer to try and make another movie. We because like when we get bored, we hang out and just make stupid movies. I want to try and make like a like a medieval movie. Where okay. are you gonna LARP? Maybe. A good friend of mine is Found a it. member of a LARPing group. He says it's really fun. Yeah, I would, I would unironically enjoy LARPing. Look at how douchey Blaine was in this. This was eight years ago. Actually, let me, let me check the, yeah, September 12th, 2010. All right, here we go. I had just graduated from high school. The other guy's like holding a wrench in his hand and you're just screaming. All right, so, uh, there's apparently this video called the BME Pain Olympics. Yeah, it's just a Why are you holding a guitar? <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, I'm playing guitar. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna watch it with my tool roommate Justin. Uh, Justin, you wanna watch it? Yeah, I'll watch it. Okay. Yeah, watch it. Okay. I like your douchey <laughs> voice. What's up, Justin? Hey, Justin. <laughs> Justin. What? Trip, bro. You know what? God, I hate that fucking name, Justin. What do you want? I was expecting someone. Beefier. He's trying to get swole. <laughs> you called it. You called it. <laughs> I like this guy. 
if you like it because it's like, um, mm. yeah, dude, it's like you, you lift in weights yeah. and you get so sore. Yeah. <clears throat> it's pretty sweet. Shit. Pretty sweet. Play, play it, bro. Right. Hurry up, though, because I'm, uh, I got a 45 minute window after every workout for my meal, my recovery meal. Right. 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 Gripping his weight. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, what the fuck, bro? This is fucked up. This is fucked up. It's gonna get a pump on. <laughs> Why would you make me watch this? This is kind of pathetic. This is what we did. <laughs> I see that. We made two videos. Did you guys bang? No. Alright. Um, what do you think? <laughs> Currently <laughs> contemplating suicide. I really like how you're twiddling around a guitar pick in your hand. What a bitch. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> it pops up with fucking some animation. Some hentai. Tentacle porn. We, we did another video. I won't do it. What's the, what's the weirdest porn video you've ever masturbated to, Tyler? <laughs> You go first. I'll go. I'll I'll give mine a second. Cause mine's actually really funny. Probably tentacle porn. Any specific? No. No, just just tentacle porn in general. Don't have like a favorite one bookmarked like no. in your computer that's hidden away for ten years. <laughs> no, I no no. <laughs> you, Blaine? Weirdest video I've masturbated. Weirdest porno I've masturbated to. Okay, so I knew porno would get brought up. In 50 this. Guy Cream Pie? Yes, 50 Guy Cream, cream Pie. Uh, now, was it a guy receiving it? No, or? it was a chick. Uh, oh. it, was, it was a chick and had 50 guys. Uh, Inseminate her. Uh, there, there's like It starts off just her jerking guys off and shit, and they're just lined up around the corner. And... Um, Slowly, like they it's just, like Buffalo they, Wild they, Wings like, on uh, it, 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 it progresses <laughs> like a typical porno, except with several, several men. Uh, like it starts off slow. fifty in total. Yes, yeah, so it starts off slow. Like okay, so jerking off, getting some sucking action and all that, and then finally they start moving into uh, the actual coitus. Coitus. Along with her, um, like there's some there's double penetration along Ooh, with DP. The, the, I mean, technically triple penetration. God plus, damn it! Now plus hands. <laughs> Woo! It, it was crazy. Whoa! Fifty guy cream pie series. Yeah, it's serious crazy. question: Is there a bubbler close? <laughs> is there a bubbler nearby? <laughs> ah, yeah, ah. ah. Bubbler. I don't know what it was, but I was into the. I was into like watching a chick get railed by fifty guys. So, are you a cuck by chance? I watch porn. No. Oh. <laughs> All right, Cameron. Oh shit! How do I say this? <laughs> Does this inform or involve farm animals? No, no, nothing like that. I'm not. I'm not a sicko. <laughs> okay. I'm not a sick bastard calling you out, Joe Grimes. <laughs> <laughs> Future roommate. <laughs> okay. Uh, I I was like I was like eleven, twelve, and I had just discovered the world of porn. Okay. And I was. 
Like my mom, basically, I'd get home from school. My mom wouldn't get home till like five thirty. I got home at like three or three thirty. So I had two whole hours to myself. I was a fucking heathen. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> You're getting excited right now, <laughs> reminiscing about these days. <laughs> but yeah, like I would, I would just be exploring like random websites. Like I've stumbled across hentai and shit, and like normal porn videos and stuff. But there, there's one thing <laughs> that that I that I saw, and it was cool because I was still 12 and I was still like naive. Watching... No, I was still like. It was it was really cool to me because like they have a porn of it and it's a show too. I saw fucking Teen Titans porn <laughs> where <laughs> where where uh, uh I can't Raven uh, gets railed by Beast Boy. No, actually it was Cyborg and he was fucking uh the, this pink haired chick Starfire. No, it it was like a evil pink haired chick. Her okay, name, I uh I think it yeah it's Jinx. Okay. And, uh, yeah, he would, like, fucking, he would just go ape shit on her, and, he, like, she would be sucking his dick at first, and he's like, oh, I don't know about this. <laughs> it, 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 like, they had a really good voice actor, because it sounded just like him. Okay. And, uh, eventually, like, he came, and she's like, oh, are you satisfied? And he's like, no. So he fucking, he started, he picked her up. He recharged? Like, he picked her up, ripped her panties off, like... This was this was animated so well. I was really surprised. Like, I was a little kid and my brain was going ten thousand miles per hour. Basically, he started fucking her with like his weird robot penis, okay. and uh, and uh, right right as he comes, he just goes booyah and fucking <laughs> comes all over her. All right, and that's not where it stops. Uh, <laughs> then. Then she's, like, on the ground, like, just fucking covered on cum, and he's like, oh, you think I'm done with you yet? And a bunch of, like, little robot uh, tentacle penises come out, and he starts, like, just filling every fucking hole. And I don't even know. Yeah, he, and he's just going ape shit. He's just going booyah, booyah, and Good it was God, just a mess. Man. It was, I'm not sure I've mess. seen that one. <laughs> oh, shit. And the funniest part, um, I was I was telling my, talking to my friends about like the like this conversation right now i told them that and then my one of my other like my close friend he was like holy shit i've seen that too when i was like 12 and so we now have like we have like that mind to body to porn connection you have a little bit of eskimo brother digitally yeah okay. yeah but now every oh, like every time i see teen titans i get like porn nostalgia <laughs> nice <laughs> oh yeah, like those were the good oh. days. Fucking thirteen year old me looking at like uh Teen Titans porn. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Other than that, I can't really think of anything that was like really funny that was also weird. I remember one time, so like uh my first semester of college, so this was fall two thousand nine. Go ahead, go, Cameron. Uh, okay. Go ahead. Um, Interrupt there, me. There, okay, I will. There's this kid who... Uh, Jacked is, off a buffalo. No, he... Uh, basically, what happened is... Uh, he, was, he was a new kid at our school. You didn't know him really well. But he was in my science class, and I was sitting... It was me, him, and then, like, three other girls at this table. And uh, this was, like, eight... Eight ninth grade. Okay. Uh, uh, basically, like, we were just talking about random stuff, and he came out and was like, uh, no, we were just talking about, like, me and this other girl, like, we played video games, like, we played World of Warcraft okay. and stuff. We were talking about that, and he was talking about how he used to play games on a computer, but his mom took, his parents took his computer away, and we were like, why? And he's like, oh, my mom and dad walked in on me, and I was looking at, uh, furry hentai games. And we were like, what? Wait, what? And he was like, yeah, I would go... He, uh, I remember the website. The website was called, like, wetpussygames.com. <laughs> <laughs> very discreet. <laughs> you can't hide that from anyone. You made very... at least new grounds at it. Right. Okay. But, uh, yeah, I guess his parents walked in on him jerking it to, like, some... Beating it like it owes him money. 
Yeah, he fucking beat his dick so hard it made him breakfast in the morning. God damn. <laughs> Jesus fuck. Scramble eggs. Would you like to watch me spank my monkey? I'm a... But, ooh, uh, I'm a butter your bread. <laughs> yeah, he... He just told us that, and the thing is, like, I still know him. Like, he works... He works at Pizza King in, like, the town I grew up in, and I see him, like... I see him at least once a month, and I'm like... That's, and that's still all you can think about? Yeah, yeah. And also, uh, there was another funny instance with that same kid. Basically, our senior year, uh, in our room, we we didn't give a fuck because we only had, like, ten days left. We had a projection board, right? And you could, like, we had Macs and stuff, and we could, like, we could connect to it and upload and, like, put a photo on the screen. But since we also had iPhones, me, uh, me and a few friends decided, hey, let's fuck around and put weird photos up. Um... My friend Christian, he had this, he found this photo. I don't know where the fuck he got it, but it was like a photo of <laughs> of a guy fucking like a dismembered corpse or something. And uh, for a split second, he put it on a projector and took it off. And we're like, what the fuck, Christian? Why'd you do that? But the funny thing is no one in the classroom saw it. The teacher or nothing didn't see it. But that one kid, I almost said his name. I almost called him out. That one kid that I was talking about, he was the only one that saw it, and he was like, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, he's cool and didn't tell on us, so... Do you think he went home and searched for that to use um, in his repertoire? He's definitely one of those kids that's definitely into hentai, definitely, like, like seeing wolves fuck each other or something. <laughs> but I don't, I don't, I, I don't think he would be, I think, because, like... I could kind of understand, like, if you're, like, a weird furry or something, but, like, when it when it comes to, like... Necrophilia. And, like, yeah, and, like, children and shit, that's where, like... Or poop. Poop. Th those three things, like, that's where I draw the line. <laughs> I like how you said poop. Poop. <laughs> Get a poop mouth! Oh, man. Poop! So, okay, so... I have, I have a... Confession? A board... Oh. A board story, along with my porn story, along... Along with uh, a two girls one cup story. Oh god! Um, so first, take first off, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the the photo board thing you're talking about. So my senior year, I was in an interactive media class. Uh, the teacher had some software on his computer that allowed us to allowed it allowed him to access any of the computers in the room and okay. just, and just remote remote view them. So that way we could show our projects from our from our seat, and he'd post it up on a fucking whiteboard, whatever. And so, <laughs> for whatever reason, uh, okay. So my friend Ethan, him and I were working on a project together, and I just happened to leave this. I, I was showing him some of my animated gifts, and one of them that I showed him. Uh, so I left it up on his screen and he wasn't he wasn't there at the desk at the time so uh our teach our teacher chip mr dale uh i'm pretty sure he graduated with our group leader um he <laughs> he pulls up ethan's fucking computer and puts it on the fucking screen and there it is this fucking image of some dude railing a chick from behind you, there's no nudity like you can't see a penis or any tits or anything. It's like the, yeah. But the like it's all classy. You, but but I mean it, it wasn't classy whatsoever. <laughs> it just just so happened that particular shot you couldn't see anything. Um, but superimposed over the guy's face was Captain Falcon. Okay. And it says, and it's just him going to town, and then it goes zooms in like on his face, and then it zooms back out, and it says. Falcon punch and he smacks her in the back of the head. Hell yeah! <laughs> and that's what was and he, hell yeah, man. And then Ethan comes back at the screen and Dale's like, "What the hell is this?" <laughs> he just accepted it. Oh, that's just a, that was the that was the class we played Halo for half the year. Halo right. and Age of Empires. Um, Halo Age of Empires and Age of Empires. I was like, that would be a good two. crossover. Age of Empires two, the Conquerors expansion. Um. Halo Wars 2. That's where it's at. I haven't played that yet. Don't I play need it. to. I need to because I love the story of Halo. Uh, anyway, my porno story. Um, 
So the it was fall of 2009, later that year after the Captain Falcon incident. Um, I had moved into my mother's because I was going to college here in town. <sighs> And so I had a late I had a late night where I was just in my room. I had the TV going in the background. I was playing. It was like on Cinemax or Showtime or something. And I just had it as background because I was working on a tattoo. I used to design my own tattoos. And I was I was working on uh, this one right here, my my across the sun tattoo. Okay. And while I was working on that, uh, I just happened to take like. I was so focused on it, I had no idea what was playing on the TV. So I just happened to take my eyes off of that and like get, basically give myself a, a brief break. I looked at the TV, and there's two spies, and they're in the middle of Af- – they're like spies or a- like CIA agents or something, and they're in the middle of an Afghanistan – Afghanistani war zone. Okay. Like fucking – Bombs are flying, going off. There's fucking terrorists shooting, shooting soldiers and shit. And these two agents are just fucking. Hell yeah. They're just, I mean, this is a soft core porno because I mean it's fucking Cinemax or Showtime or whatever. But like they were, they were going to town, you know, like in the middle of a war zone. I, I was like, fuck. Hell yeah. How the hell did I not know this was going on while I was working? <laughs> You're like, like this, just like what are the odds that I would just look up and that's what I would see. Was your first reaction, oh no, they could get a dishonorable discharge. Oh. Or a disease. And a, a dis- discharge. Wow. <laughs> a discharge disease. A disease with a lot of discharge. <laughs> Chlamydia. What was going to be my other story? I had a third one, didn't I? Two Girls, One Cup. Oh, Two Girls, One Cup. So the first time I watched Two Girls, One Cup, it was the year it be. It was like right when that became a thing. Right. Whatever year that was, I was like oh seven, oh eight. Something like that. I think it was oh seven. Oh six or oh seven. I'm I'm going back another year just in case. Um my uncle. So my uncle Hank, he was uh he's in, Heritage. <laughs> he's, he's in the national he was in the National Guard and he had been deployed to Iraq and Afghanistan a couple times. Okay. Uh I think this was his I'm pretty sure this was his Iraq tour. Uh, it was Thanksgiving day and I'm at my aunt Misty's with all my family, my mom's side of the family, you know, and we're, uh, which is hilarious because her, uh, my cousin Peyton, uh, which is my aunt Misty's oldest son. Um, that's hilarious. He's, he's hopefully still watching. <laughs> he he was pretty young at this point. This is like, well, this is like 13, 12, 13 years ago. But, uh, so I'm, I at the time like I wasn't much of a I'm gonna hang out with my family. Right. I I I was on the fam. I just I, I would find a computer and I'd log on to MSN Messenger and talk to whoever. Okay. So Hank he he starts talking to me and he's, he and we're just chatting and I'm doing I'm chatting with other people and Hank sends me a link. <laughs> it's two girls one cup. Okay. I had I had no idea. I'm I'm in the middle of the living room, mind you, as well. So I click it and I start watching the video, and I'm like, "Oh shit, this is, this is fucking porno." And <laughs> for whatever reason, I didn't turn it off. You just kept going. I just kept it going. I'm like, "I wonder how. I wonder if they're gonna notice this." <laughs> like, "Oh shit!" And then, uh, and like, it's just middle of thanks fucking family Thanksgiving, and like, I got two girls, one cup playing in the living room, and I'm like, "Oh shit! What the fuck?" <laughs> Like, that's when the shit starts coming out, and I'm like, holy, what the fuck? You're a savage. I, I, I immediately closed. As soon as I saw the shit begin to... So if there was no... Okay, let me ask you. If there was no shit, would you have kept playing it? No. Then it then no, no, because it, it was like two like really flat-chested Asian, Asian chicks, and I'm not into that. Okay. What if they were big-breasted Asian chicks? Oh, good... I probably wouldn't have kept playing it. I probably would have, like... Made Saved a, the link. Made a mental note, you know? Okay. But, nah. No. Do you like, have oh my to... god, this is porn. I gotta get out of here before no. anybody sees this. How hard was it to hide a boner in front of your family? I was not erect. Cameron. 
All right. So we've hit the two two hour mark, and we usually start winding down about now. Um, Cameron, is there anything you'd like to say? Um, I can't really think of anything. Do you guys want to play Guess What's in the Bag? What's in no. the bag? <laughs> no. <laughs> if I just I just pull out a fucking head. <laughs> uh, I would immediately call the authorities, and I probably wouldn't go to work tomorrow. I would never invite you into my home again. I would invite you to you're my probably home not, immediately. You're probably not going to invite me again anyways. <laughs> I'm leaving fucking apple seeds everywhere. Is this a bag of rubber dicks? No. Okay. Actually, uh, me and me and Nate thought about that. I thought about stopping by Cirilla's and buying... Buying a bag of dicks. No, I was going to buy, like... I wanted to buy, like, five dildos and walk in, like, fucking Edward Dick hands. But... <laughs> I talked to I talked to Nate and he's like, "Well, dildos cost like twenty, at least like twenty five dollars each." I'm like, "I'm not gonna wait. I'll spend one hundred twenty five dollars for a joke like that." <laughs> but Cameron, it's so worth it. Dicks. You um, could have dicks for hands. No. Actually, like the first thing I already showed you guys was my kalimba. You can play it if you want. It's made from a coconut. That's what I was talking about at the table earlier today. It's a little fun, fun little toy. Really good, really good to annoy people with. Like Joe. Yeah. That's the only reason I got it, so I could torture my roommate. Right. Um, I have a hacky sack. Ooh, people retro. People still do that? Oh, hell yeah, they do. Wow. I, I, like, used to I, be... I met people his age. Oh, hell yeah. Dude, we're fucking walking around with our longboards and our man buns. Wearing our uh, Supreme okay. jacket. Wait a minute. Eric had a fucking ponytail today. Yeah, he had a man bun. Oh, really? He had like a premature man bun. Oh, it's like the little the little poof ball? Like, he looked no, no, like... no. It was straight ponytail. Oh, shit. It was like this long. Yeah, so he looks like one of those like fucking Ronins or something. Like a douche Ronin. <laughs> a, d- a douchey Ronin with a beard. Uh, What else? iPhone charger? I actually, like, I didn't actually pack shit for this. This was just shit that I have in my backpack because I okay. wanted to bring my backpack with. Because I, I have a habit of bringing it with. Um, a die grinder. <laughs> what? Or a dick grinder. I don't know what do it you, is. Do you need this? Because I'll take it if you don't want it. No, I use it. For what? Uh, I, I like carving on rocks and stuff. Okay, uh, one- this actually isn't a die grinder. What is it? This is a... Dremel? Dremel. Okay. But um, it's clearly labeled die grinder <laughs> my gra- all my, over this case. My grandpa is fucking insane, and he, he'll he just label shit random things. Like, my grandpa's also like, I think he might be a hoarder. Is he a high-functioning autistic? No, we don't have any autistic in my family besides me. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, this is one of the things I carved. Ooh, Mufasa. Yeah. Let me show the camera. That was one of the first things I carved, actually. It was from a little, uh, a little, it was supposed to be a bear, but it ended up looking like a lion. I see the bear, though. Yeah. At first, I kind of thought it was an Australian shepherd. That's really neat. I can see that, too. But yeah, I I should have made the nose more square. Um, yeah, I... I mean, that's one of the things I like stone carving a lot. That's cool. Um, actually, uh, my art teacher, he he did a lot of like stuff, and he tried. He re- <laughs> that sounds stupid. <laughs> he did he, stuff. He did stuff. Uh, no, things. he he really uh, showed me like a lot of different mediums to work with, and that's one of the things I kind His of penis is one of them. Uh, yeah, like. He would be like, Cameron, yeah, extra credit after school in the bathroom, in the janitor's closet. Okay. But no, uh, uh, you probably, you could have probably seen him on the news, you know, like the Delphi killer and stuff? Mm-hmm. You know how they made a bench in Flora? Yeah. Yeah, he, he was the one that carved that. That's really cool. Yeah, and he had all, like, I helped carve that too. He had almost all the students, like, help a little bit on That's it. That's really cool. Yeah. Uh, he's painted a bunch of murals in our town, Flora. Like, I've helped a few. For anybody that isn't local listening to this, um, unfortunately, last year we had um, two teenage girls abducted and murdered um, 
sadly, the killer is still unknown, unfound. Justice has not been served. That'll be a year ago next week. Mm-hmm. And then... Um, that, that, the thing is, that's that hits near and dear to me because... Uh, Delphi. Delphi. I'm from Delphi, and on top of that, Libby was my cousin. Oh, so, shit. Uh, I didn't know her. She, I mean, she's, okay, kind of a cousin. I consider it a cousin, but um, like I said, I didn't know her. She, uh, her dad was, um, my grandfather's son from a previous marriage. Okay. Uh, so, I mean, uh, marriage and he, cousin. And he's not even technically my grandpa, but he raised me. So okay. it's just, uh, just seeing him, see it impact him made me hurt. Right. And, uh, that was just, it, I mean, not, it just seeing the community hurt. Well, it, it wasn't just the Delphi community. It was all of us, you know? Yeah. Lafayette, Carroll County, yeah, all of it. Yeah, just to see everybody come together like that. It was right. nuts. Um, um, go on, Cameron. Also, like, on top of that, there was also those four girls that died in that house fire. Yes. And they, that, that fire was definitely, like, arson. Like, that was a murder. Right. And it's a shame that that literally went under the bridge, like... Not not saying that like that's more important than the Delphi thing because both of them are tragedies, but like it's a shame that that one's not even talked about. Now. Right? Like yeah. it, it's just like completely under the bridge. Um, unrelated. You said you're you're related to Libby. Not by blood or anything. not by blood. Okay, because like I kind of actually dated a girl that was like her cousin too oh, yeah. at the time. Okay. And I that was it didn't really her she was like weirded out by it though like because i guess they weren't close but it was like one of those things were like oh we're like related yeah see you know like it was weird it was really rough for me and weird for me because like i'm from delphi i know all these people that right. mm-hmm. are hurting and i know exactly where they were right like those are trails i had walked those are trails i had hung out on and you know and and it's such a shame that like something happened out there because like, well it's it's, you it's don't small think, town delphi it's small you town, would you never don't think, think of, of something like that you don't happening. think of that shit you know and it's it's such a shame it's such a shame yeah um like probably i think it was like three weeks before that i was on the me and my friends went to high bridge yeah and because we would go there we've been there like three or four times it was a cool place to hang out i even have my shoes in that weird shoe tree my my fake easies <laughs> yeah. yeah like that and you know like the the two the day that it happened like that was a really warm day for february mm-hmm. it's a great day to get out and you know do that kind of thing you know and there's there's theories that they were supposedly there to meet somebody or yeah. whatever but no any any time any just... tragedy like this happens people oh no people that was, who don't that was a have nightmare. yeah people who don't have any business being involved or anything to do with it for that matter take time out of their day to to be internet trolls and and hamper everything else yeah, that's and trying you know, to happen there were other victims besides them in this tragedy right and, you know and because people because we have social media and because we because people got on there and started with their theories and they saw right. oh the and uh like there's this the maxwells uh this they're an early suspect right out the gate there uh and of course wlfi journal and courier posted their picture suspect's house this is the suspect's house and uh police are investigating it and all that now everybody knows that house and yep. everybody, everybody in town that knew that house went out there and vandalized the fuck out of them. Their fa- their name is fucking ruined. trashed and ruined yep. now. See, and that's one of the things that pisses me off about especially our newspaper and our um, local newscast. We called them the Facebook police because well, yeah. they were doing they because they watched an episode of Criminal Minds. They all are right. all of a sudden expert on but it, this it, shit. It just goes to show more times than not now that the 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 media, specifically the news, uh, cast and papers, aren't aren't giving us factual information. They just post or share, or, you know, publish. Anything they that they can to get 
basically raiding drivers right out of the gate. And it's really sad because that was something that should not have been blown up the way that it was initially. Mm -hmm. You know, let the investigation take underway. Let the public know something happened. Don't fucking plaster people's house on the internet. No, and that was that was very poorly handled. Um, Which is has been the theme, especially with WL five the last couple of years. They are doing oh, that yeah. with everything. Which, which really bums me out because my cousin Brittany is a fucking anchor on there. Right. Brittany Tyner. Like she and she's she's really good at her job. <laughs> yeah. And then there's all, all this other shit going on and like it bums me out when I see people trashing WLFI when knowing my cousin who I grew up with and she is my actual cousin. It's not like the Libby thing, but <laughs> This isn't your friend. No, this is my actual cousin and I grew up with her and like had all these great memories with her and like right. it, it bums me out that like WLFI is doing so poorly. Yeah. Not only in the eyes of the public but actually doing poorly right in terms of what they're doing and their practices and whatnot (sighs) i feel like we should have a couple more positive things to say before we wrap up yeah more uh yeah okay so we're gonna skip ahead a little bit we're gonna skip a couple of the trailers that we know the other podcasts have either already talked about or are going to talk about okay uh today dropped a new Deadpool trailer. Which um, focused on Cable. Yes. Josh Brolin playing Cable. Lots and lots of Cable. And then in typical Deadpool fashion, lots of Ryan Reynolds humor. Lots of Ryan Reynolds fourth wall breaking. Hell yeah. Like, I, I love the very end of the trailer. Oh, it's where, great. Where he's just like, now that's just poor writing. <laughs> He looks directly at the camera. At at first, um, I was not excited. Uh, You know, I really like Josh Brolin. Yeah. Um, Josh Brolin is not the person that I would have cast for Cable. Since they announced that they were doing Cable for the next movie, uh, I like Joe specifically. Joe and I, we've gone back and forth on who who it should be. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the early one of the early front runners for it was Ron Perlman. I still say to this day he would have been a fantastic Cable. I agree. I, I would have liked to see Ron Perlman as it. The guy that played um, the antagonist in... Avatar? Avatar. Yeah. And he would have been good. The like kind of commander in Terra Nova was the guy that I would have picked. I can't ever... I'm really bad with actors' names that aren't super huge. I don't know that guy either. I, but I don't know that guy's name. You look at, at Cable in a lot of the comics. He's got white hair. He's a little bit of an older guy. Yeah. That guy was fucking Cable to me. He would have fit perfect. Um, After watching this trailer, uh, it focuses primarily on Cable and how much of a badass Cable is. Yeah. Uh, It's it's like littered with like little bits of domino. Uh Uh-huh. Which yeah, you don't see a lot. You have to look for it. Yeah, and you and you you have to know who Domino is, right? And you have to know that Domino is actually in this movie. Uh, Otherwise, you're just gonna be like. You're not even going to notice it. It's not, you're not even going to be like, who's that? You're just not even going to notice did it. Did you see Colossus in the trailer? Because I don't think I did. I don't think I did. I was surprised to see, uh, what's his name, uh, the taxi driver. I can't ever. I, there's no way I'm going to remember his yeah, name. You said it. I said it. The, 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 when, while we were watching it, I literally said it. But now it's I'm drawing a blank. But we see him. We see um, Mama. What's her name? Mama June? No, it's not Mama June. Uh, it's not. <laughs> Honey Boo Boo. It's uh the fucking chick. The, the blind chick? Yeah, the blind chick. Um, still. Either way, we see her. We see uh, Supersonic ne- or Supersonic Negatim and ah, ne- Super Negasonic Teenage Warhead. Yes. That's the name. But How much of this are you wanting me to read? Just read that one. That one made me laugh a lot. Cameron's interrupting us. I'm I'm sorry. But it was written by three miscarriages bundled into a typewriter. <laughs> okay, well, he's not right. This. Yeah, you want to read that? I got all my friends. I got all my friends to buy Monster Hunter, and they they really like it. <laughs> they really. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> all right. What am I supposed to see? What am I supposed to read? Uh, right there. The game looks like looks fucking beautiful, and is about killing massive monsters and really over-the-top fights, so it should be good. 
but it was written by three miscarriages bundled into a typewriter. <laughs> if ba- if babies you it babies you the whole way through the game like you've never touched a video game. <laughs> Someone sends a picture of a a very angry looking black guy with um Harley Quinn Harley hair. Quinn hair, not the colors but just po- the pigtails <laughs> and it, and below it it says just trying to find myself. <laughs> Dude, I read uh, that before you. <laughs> my Aww. my friends, uh, have you? Do either of you guys played uh, any UFC games? No. Nope. Okay, like you know, I could. I'm not it. a douchebag. <laughs> um, we all Tap my tap out. <laughs> I I like Fight Night Round Three, but uh, we really like playing around in the character customization, and we always make terrifying fucking monsters, and we'll send them to each other. To, the, there is one that <laughs> there is one that my friend sent to our group chat a few days ago. <laughs> Good God! <laughs> I, the Ar- caption Arby's has arrived. <laughs> the caption is perfect. <laughs> I'll let you guys see that. It's like a little uh, terrifying amalgamate, and then underneath it just says Arby's has arrived. That oh, reminds that reminds me of. Uh, the camera can hear you, but the microphone oh. can't. Um, and I'm sure somewhere we got picked up. But uh, no, that reminds me of Tony Hawk's Underground. Mm-hmm. The char- that was, I think, my first experience with character creation. Oh, hell yeah, man. And I created this guy. He was just ginormous wearing a camo. He would be, like, clipping through his skateboard and shit. Yeah, basically. And he was just, like, this huge, bulky guy. And he was wearing a big camo jacket and baggy pants. And he had... I. I, I used the skull for his head, but you could also uh, edit the dimensions of it. So I gave him this ginormous underbite. underbite. Yeah. <laughs> so watching him talk in the cutscenes was absolutely hysterical. Hell yeah. Ah, uh, yep. That's that's my story right there. So um, back to Deadpool uh-huh. and the, the the topic that we were on before we got. Rabbit hold. Have you ever played uh, Deadpool the game? <laughs> Please stop. Yeah, it's, we've it's talked fantastic. about that on the podcast before. <laughs> it's, a, it's a fantastically <laughs> shitty game. Um, so I was kind of apprehensive about Josh Brolin, especially with him playing Thanos. You know what? What kind of a performance is he going to be able to give us as Cable when he's spending a lot of time, obviously, being Thanos, mm-hmm. the big bad of the MCU. And I'm I'm more so excited about Josh Brolin now. Um, I was so Deadpool is my wife's favorite MCU movie. Yeah, um, she really liked Deadpool, and it's it, not an MCU movie. It's a Marvel character. It's a Mar- it's a Marvel movie, but it's not MCU. It will be soon. Hopefully, hopefully. So I, I'm just gonna keep saying it the way that I'm saying it, um, because it'll eventually be canon. But uh, so. I love the first Deadpool movie. My wife got into it. It was kind of cool to get her into a superhero that she liked that I did that I wasn't like you like this person. You know, she formed her own opinion and yeah. liked Deadpool. So uh, Miranda and I bonded on our first night that I met her. Uh, we bonded over watching Deadpool together. And alcohol. Uh, she she was on alcohol. Okay. I, however, was quite sober. And uh, we, you know, if we, we were Puritans, that wouldn't be allowed. We watched Deadpool together. Okay. Or at least I watched Deadpool while she was hunched over. All right, fair <laughs> enough. It was it was a fun night. It's a fun story. But go uh, on. So, I enjoyed the first Deadpool movie. To me, it's not the greatest thing ever done. No. Like a lot of people play it off as. So I didn't have super high expectations for the second movie, and I'll tell you right now, I do. A- after seeing the trailer today with. All of the stuff that I wasn't excited for and and really apprehensive, now I'm super excited mm-hmm, for it. Mm-hmm. So that's all I'm, I have to I'm, say about that. I'm very that. excited as well. Uh, but we're running a little long right now, so I'm going to go ahead and call it quits. Tyler, once again, thank you for always being here. Thank Appreciate it. Being my co-host. I'm your partner. You're my partner in life. Cameron, thank you for joining, you piece of shit. No, you're not going to kiss me. Wow, that I was, was really I, intense. I, I actually thought he was going to kiss me. I thought he was going to at least go for the forehead, but he went mouth to mouth there for a second. Yeah, I I was 
I was like, wow, I'm about to kiss my first child. I'm, <laughs> I'm 21. You are uh, 19. Right. Well, are you 20 or 19? I just, I just turned fucking... I turned 20 when okay, I was so working here. Okay, yeah. so you're 20. All right. Not 21. Check us out on the Journey Into Comics network. Journey Into Comics slash... Or Patreon.com slash Journey Into Comics. Where all the greatest podcasts in the world are on. Foodies Watching Movies. Journey Into Comics. Journey Into Wrestling. The Poor Report. Brews with Dudes. Of course, us podcastrophy. I'm tagging you in, Blaine. What have, what have you said so far? <laughs> <laughs> Stuff and things. Stuff and things. All right, you get Journey into Comics. You get Journey into Wrestling. You get Game Addicts. Oh, okay. Game on Addicts podcast network. is on its own feed. Uh, you get Literature, The Poor Poor Brews with Dudes. Literature Journey was into, the one I forgot. Journey into Wrestling, I Which think you I said, said already. That. Uh, the we Voice so of Survival. You get Foodies Watching Movies. I, I think that. I said that again. I think I said it, too. I, I don't you know. said it twice. Oh, my God. Uh, plugs, plugs, plugs. We are so bad. You at can plugs. get us. You can get us on all the social social media platforms, be it Podcastrophy or Journey into Comics. Um, you can you can subscribe to us on iTunes, Podbean, uh, Spotify, Twitter or Twitter, Twitter, S- Stitcher Radio. Uh, you can find myself uh on Podcastrophy on Twitch, and myself as Finnegan underscore McNasty on Twitch. Check us out while we stream uh, in the future or the near future. Uh, Tuesdays are probably going to be our day around 6 o'clock. Yep. Tentatively. Um, for $1 a month, you get some really cool shit on Patreon. For $3 a month, you get even more cool exclusive yeah, ex- shit. Exclusive shit. For $1, cool. You're thanking us. You're, you're, you're helping us. And you get early access to every episode on the network. The moment at, it airs. The no, the moment it's done editing. That's what I. That's what the I. The moment it's done editing. I'm so bad at plugs. And uploaded. No, it's okay. You're still new to this. I get it. Uh, but yeah, just if you want to throw us a buck, awesome. We appreciate it so much. If you want to throw us three, then you get a tons of exclusive uh, content. You're gonna get the Road to Infinity War, where we we review uh, an Ave- uh, Avengers movie, a Marvel. Cinematic Universe movie every week or every month. No, is every every week, week every in week, order in up order until, until Infinity, Infinity War. War. The last one being Black Panther. Uh, and then on top of that, you also get other exclusive things that we decide to do whenever. Uh, so if you feel like it, please donate, and we appreciate it so much. Uh, your friend Clint, thank you so much. Yeah, thanks again, Clint. You're my boy, Blue. For the $20 uh, subscription. <laughs> if you so choose to keep going with the $20. Um, but yeah, thanks again, guys. This is Podcastrophy. That's that's Tyler. I'm Tyler. That's Cameron. That's Wedges. Say, say bye. Say, say bye. Like a normal person. Do it. I want to say goodbye to my children, who, who I all love very dearly. I, I want them to stroke my beard. Yes, yes. <laughs> very nice. Keep stroking my beard. Oh, yes, yes. Come on. I'm almost there. Stroke, 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 stroke. Okay, I'm done. Thank you. Very good. Next time I'll be here. Bye. Make every day a big dick day. Bye. Heritage. <laughs>